right. Lurkers. Stalkers. Um. Pay pigs. Let's go. I swear, if the performance this time is ass, I'm gonna become violent. I fucking swear. CPU is at 25. Come on, it's a 720p stream. How much lower can I go? Anyways, hello everybody. Welcome. I hope you're you're playing Elden Ring now. What else would you be doing? There's probably at least five people playing Elden Ring right now, as you're listening to this, and I just called you out. It wasn't much of a call out though. Big ups, uh, Lunar Guardian, for the three months of chill, dude. That's awesome. Speaking of which, there's a premium <laughs> special video only for, for members for now. And then eventually it's gonna be made as a as a sample. As a sample. And it's gonna be free. But just the first one. Okay, sound good. It's just 10 minute video, it's nothing special. me out for real <laughs> i had okay this is a this is now a, a venting stream i had this son of a bitch laptop run for two hours streaming yesterday on much higher quality and everything it was like a private stream and nothing fucking happened and now it's up to 44 percent cpu what are you doing somebody mining bitcoin on my shit ah Anyways, <laughs> back to the positivity. I don't mean to be super negative today, even though what we're gonna be watching is not gonna be very positive. We're gonna be watching fucking DSP. But at least I have the camera on today. If it loads, of course. All right. Frames collapse just from changing the layout. This is fucking the greatest. All right. Camera's on. This camera's fucking not worth it, man. Hello, I'm here and I'm pink. It's fucking nice. All right, let's listen to some more music and then we're gonna start. Okay. I don't have a ton of stuff to watch today. I actually don't even have anything added to my, uh, what was it called? To my watch list. But uh, it, it is what it is. I 
cry because it hurts my fucking feet. Hey, big ups, Dabby. What's up? You like the members video? It was a great video. This is my job, man. This is my Nah, it's just a normal video. Real talk. Real talk. Sleep all goddamn day. Every day. Play the same fucking games over and over and over again. Every day. My day is shit. It's gonna be shit tomorrow. It's gonna be shit after that. It's gonna be shit after that. My day is shit. It's gonna be shit tomorrow. It's just gonna be shit after that. It's just gonna be shit after that. I'm a fat dude. I'm going to cheat. I'm a fat dude. I'm a fat dude. I'm a fat dude. I'm going to cheat. I'm a fat dude. Yo. What fucking excuses did I make? I'm not fucking afraid. People ask me about my weight. Waking up every day. I can see myself right now choking fucking scumpy. Grumpy because I need to get subscribers, dude. I'm grumpy because I need to get subscribers, dude. Insulting my gaming skills of perma band. You come in here and you troll again. Hey, big, big ups, chat. Welcome. Join. Let's spam some sound bites. I'm lurking. Over and over and over and over and get, get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. My day is shit. <laughs> this is a great one. I put this on the soundboard. Uh, already. All right, this camera is not gonna be it. I'm destroying the camera. You guys need to send me an actual gaming PC behind the scenes. This shit is not accepted. <laughs> it ripped the camera. I'm not using it ever again because it it destroys me. I have to film in in literal. 720p, which is fucking trash. Alright, we're back. Camera's been eradicated, never is coming back. You'll never see how I look ever again. Uh, okay, Bustus. Now everything is solid, it's stable, it's legit. My entire life sitting in this fucking room, insulting my gaming skills of permaban. You come in here and you troll again. Sleep all goddamn day, every day. Play the same fucking games over and over and over again. Every day. My day is shit. It's gonna be shit tomorrow. It's just gonna be shit after that. It's just gonna be shit after that. My day is shit. It's gonna be shit tomorrow. It's just gonna be shit after that. It's just gonna be shit after that. My day is shit. Big up, Liquid Richard. All right, this might be the the last song. Yeah, I think it might be the the fake green screen. It might be that. I'm gonna try it with something else. But dude, I did a test stream that literally fucking worked. It worked. It worked completely all the time with my CPU on 10, and I was watching videos and opening Photoshop and shit. And the moment I decide to to actually go live for real, it shits the bed massively. I need to take some of uh, Anonymous diapers to put on fucking CPU. But anyways, for like the fifth time, uh, clock in everyone. We don't want to fuck up the system again. Make the CPU go up. <laughs> Your boy Phil, he was full. I don't even know what. Full mental jacket on Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter, he was fucking lit. He was still shitting on Burger King in like the middle of the night in the AM. Dude was lurking and stalking, and he still hasn't let it go. One fucking shitty burger. Uh, fucking Burger King. When you're fat, that's what she like to do. Get money when you're fat, that's what she like to do. Shout out to Chris Chan. I've drunk my own piss, man. Man, everybody, people cheat on the wife, man. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. People cheat on the wife, man. It's a normal thing, dude. It's a normal thing. <laughs> it's like it's so funny the way he says shit like that. Uh, he just has no concept of what is even acceptable to say. Was out of staff like a week ago. Whole system broken like his colleague go. Vision. I stick with precision. 
vision. I stick pussies within a hot kitchen. I hit it from the back. I hit it from the back. 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 I hit it from the back. I hit it from the back. I hit it from the back. 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 Okay, I'm probably gonna get the camera up for this. Cause I don't know, it's just more fun. It's more fun. Okay, one more song and uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go on Twitter first because it's, it's the best thing. Oh yeah, boom! That fucking song, I saw like a snippet of it on some video, it might even be this one. And it's not released, it's never coming out. It's one of those songs. It's like uh, Dawn the Three. Oh, enjoy this uh, sensual, stroke-tastic song. Get that ass, man. I'm a fucking baller, bitch ass nigga. This is low tier. In this game, you know the rules. Swimming, mark coming like a pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swimming, mark coming like a pool. I stick my dick up in your mouth. I stick my dick up in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every little thing I do, it never seems enough to fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, green. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't give a damn what they say. I want you to play with the balls. You can feel the pain, baby. When you left the key and give you the BBC, and I don't wanna lose it again. Cause I'm not liking. Hey, the camera was on the whole time, like legit. <laughs> but I was putting it on the layout. All right. In this game, yeah, Enough. Swimming, mark, coming like a pool. Yeah, I think this, these songs are made from uh, LTG actually singing. Like samples of him singing or something. Because at least him and Wings, they do those things that are very easy to sample, I guess. Oh yeah, this is in the, in the end here. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, it's a boom. Let's uh, let's hear it out. Shout out to Sean Ranklin. I came back, came back, ass was ready to slap, ass was ready to slap, slap one sheet, boom, slap two, slap one sheet, boom, slap one sheet, boom, slap one sheet, lurking, slap two, slap two, lurking, stop trying, boom, ready to side, boom, ready to fun, boom, she got the pussy tough, boom, we're back. All right, this is it. This is it. 15 minutes. Oh my god, it took me 15 minutes for this. All right, let's uh, stop it with all the disasters. Welcome everybody. Attendance is great. All the whales, lurkers, stalkers, interactors, everybody is here. It's one of those days. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. Everybody's <laughs> excited. It's it's the day after the day off. The day we get the the DSPs. Uh, critically acclaimed the day off segment phil's day off uh but before that before even all that shit starts which is in like two hours at this point uh yeah before this starts we need to 
to discuss some very important things uh, on t on his Twitter. Not actually important things, just like bullshit, you know, the, the usual nonsense. Now, first, DSP. Major baller alert. He changed his name on Twitter. And I need to show this probably, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go to the browser view. Now it's time for everything to crash again. All right. Wait, it's an F again? No, you're lying. Can't be true. <laughs> what? There's no F. Stop trolling. There's no F. We've been here this whole time. Okay, I'm not going to listen to anybody from now on. You're all banned. You're all muted. Anyways, hello, welcome to Twitter. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm going to cut the crap. Uh, hello, welcome. Welcome, chat. Hello, how's it going? First, let's take a look at the guy's Twitter. He changed his name to The Undying. He used to be the Unstoppable, I think. The Unstoppable, right? Yeah. Changed his name to Undying. He was bitching a massive amount about fucking Dr. Disrespect, about fucking Elden Ring, about fucking Burger King, from about shit from like actually six months ago or five months ago. Like legit lunatic, legit lunatic, dark side fucking Phil. Um, and I'm, as always, I'm gonna sit here and, and nitpick all this bullshit and call him out and, uh, make fun of him. Yeah. I think they were gin tweets because they were seven hours ago, which is probably, I would say, in the AM. At the time where DSP was supposed to be taking a nap. And instead he was writing angry stuff at Burger King. Well, let's get into that one first. That one is, uh, it's the thing. It's not shocking to hear that at Burger King is tanking. Their food quality has plummeted. Remember my chicken sandwich horror from September? Wow, their customer service is terrible. If a franchise owner ignores a complaint, they ghost you and do nothing to help. Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic is what DSP fucking says. Get, get, get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. And uh, additionally, he found this article. I think somebody was able to find where this article came from. It's one of those clickbait, generic, kind of uh, written by a bot articles that is just like, it's not really meant for you to actually read. It's just a fucking random article that pops up as an ad. And this guy, for some reason, found this somehow. Because we know DSP doesn't look at stuff. He doesn't explore or research or anything. He somehow found this on some random fucking site. I'm, I'm very fucking confused. Uh, then we go, happy March. I guess, happy March, congratulations. I hope you all had a great last day of, of February. I did, I'll tell you all about it on the pre-stream podcast. And then we'll start another awesome week of streaming with, you guessed it, more Elden Ring. See you in the morning for for the fun. For the fun. This was eight hours ago. He was boozing a thousand percent. There's no way this guy wasn't boozing. Now here we have my least favorite segment of this fucking stream probably. Is the bitching about Elden Ring segment. The Because he rage quit it. There was this whole thing about the hitbox is not thing. Or something. He wasn't supposed to hit me but he did. Well let's take a look at a fucking clip. So, right. Somebody bothered to clip this, or they legit did not. Uh, maybe it's not even opening properly for me. But anyways, I think we can find it here. Um, somebody said something to DSP. Oh yeah, here it is. Alright, so uh, when he uh, rage quit Elden Ring, he went on Twitter to bitch and cope immediately, as he does with everything. This is his his special place is Twitter, because nobody can tell him anything. I, I talked about this last time with, uh, we were watching highlights of Phil, and one of them was uh, taking back his Twitter. Remember this fantastic plot line. He wanted to take back Twitter by, you guessed it, literally making it impossible for anybody to confront or challenge anything that he says by locking his fucking replies. And he's still getting clowned, by the way, in the quote retweets. 
don't uh, don't worry about that. He's still getting clowned. It's like death and taxes. DSP will get clowned in the end. Um, so this is the fucking tweet. What a night in Elden Ring. Completed most of the first legacy dungeon, including a ton of side content in mini bosses. Then on to the final boss, which is an actual buggy, unpolished mess that made me that made me rage quit. I'll fight him again, but WTF? I'm shocked. It's that bad. Uh, for reference, in this screen grab, the boss is facing completely away from me and throws a projectile at my summoned soldier. That projectile travels backwards and hits me, which is impossible. It's bullshit of the highest degree and needs to be fixed ASAP. This is the fucking fantastic content we're, we're grown to, to expect, enjoy, comment on, make fun of, and generally most of the time ignore from dsp now somebody clipped it of course uh probably aqua teal i think it was aqua teal they clipped it almost immediately as it happened it was fast as fuck and uh then we get what do we get i think that's it for for this this segment um yeah the, oh yeah the, here it's uh, dr disrespect the big one you know the guy you've heard of him he's way 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 more popular than phil where well he uh played his first from software game which was elden ring and he was bad at it and he rage quit which is not really a headline or anything but of course it's a headline because it's from dr disrespect uh which this is a great photoshop by the way i'm loving this fucking art uh and and phil of course as as the guy with uh, more from software experience as the the great lit fucking gamer uh what did he say a shocking twist nobody could have ever seen coming nice signature dark side phil sarcasm uh and with this i think we're pretty much done with uh uh with the twitter segment now we can get into the actual watching stuff segment uh, now, if you want to go and see any of those tweets, you can you can do that uh, unless you're banned. But if you are banned, you can go to uh, uh, the good old Twitter replacement, Knitter. And yes, I said it with a TT. N-I-T-T-E-R dot net. And this is how you can look at DSP's tweets if, if this face blocked you. Okay? Sounds good. Uh, now we got, I think... First, we got the Aqua Teal video of the Rage Quit, right? He did Rage Quit, right? He did. Um, all right, and he was off yesterday, so basically nothing happened. Yeah, that's why uh, today we're going to be watching just mostly random garbage. Uh, what is this? TSP, Rage Quits, uh, Elden Ring. Okay, sound fucking good. Here it is. Bugged boss mechanics, dude. And this uh, memology video. Okay, big up. Shout out to memology video. And let's, uh, let's take a look. Views, views, views. I don't, don't want to be, be Mr. Mr. Views. I need banana. Tasty banana. Put banana in my mm -hmm. mouth. Squeeze the peel. It comes in the... <laughs> Squeeze banana. Oh, squeeze banana. I don't know why all kids fucking jokes have to be about being gay or something. I don't even know. <laughs> um, sorry if anybody told me anything in chat. I was too busy reading tweets. Legit reading tweets. Come on with the stupid full screen. So I wasn't looking. I can't avoid it when that's my first few times fighting. What just hit me? What the fuck? What? It had a hitbox behind him with the flame. It had a hitbox behind it with the flame. Wait, that that was it? Uh, that was the the attack that got him, I think, right? What just hit me? What? What the fuck? But it's when it, it happens later when it gets fucked up. When flame. when it actually it pisses had him a off. Hitbox behind <laughs> it with the flame. I was past the arm oh, striking him, and the flame still hit me. What? I can't do anything. How fucking stupid was that? 
I was behind the fucking flame and I still got hurt by the flame. No, no from software. You, you're, that's fucking stupid and you suck. That is completely stupid. Okay, this is not the one where he rage quits. I, I've seen it. It's here in the end and it's like, ah, oh, this shit is not fucking fun. <laughs> the game should be fun. Why does it hit me? This is so dumb. Dodge, can't dodge because it's lagging. Look, he rolled after. He rolled insanely late. I'm dodging, and it's still fucking rolls. So Bro, late. this guy's fucking after. great. Fucking <laughs> yeah, here it was. Here it was. Fuck this. And there, there's what, like a six minutes of coping? Fuck. What? What? No. Fuck this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> fuck this fucking piece of shit. He was facing. <laughs> fuck the this fucking piece of shit. Direction. He goes oh, like this sweet. Throw it, and it goes backwards out of his ass and hits me. I'm done for tonight. No, I'm done. And we're done for tonight. Done. Retirement. Retirement I'm time. I'm not putting up with that shit. We're done he playing games. Was facing the soldier the other direction goes like this and the the fucking wind comes out of his ass backwards and hits me. Fuck you. You know what? I had to say it. They didn't polish this fight at all. That boss fight is not polished. It's not all. polished. He would know. He is Polish. Not polished in any way, shape, or form. He's half Polish, half Italian. How the fuck are you going to tell me that that's a, 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 they practiced that fight? <laughs> And they actually perfected it. The fucking... The wind came out of his ass. He goes... Huh. And the wind goes back. Oh, yeah. And, and the best thing about it is not only does he bitch about it for the next, like, six minutes. He goes on Twitter. And posts clips. And is like, hey, look, look. The game wronged me. It was erroneous. Wah. Very sad. So I just want to recap, because you can watch the video back. He has a, a dragon head out, and he's going like this with fire. I'm here, past the arm, striking his body, and the fire hits me, and I fall down and die. Then, in his first form, Thank you for the, the wind, for the summary. My guy that's straight ahead of him goes like this, and the wind goes backwards and hits me. I'm done for tonight. No, and we're done for tonight. Bullshit. That is, I hate to say it, that's not polished at all. That's a terrible <laughs> boss fight. It looks cool, and it's uh, terrible. Maybe it is terrible. All the Look, maybe it is fucking terrible. Maybe it is. But is is this amount of crying gonna make him not look stupid or something? I don't know. Why? Maybe it is terrible. Maybe it's the worst, most broken boss fight in the history of life. But bitching like this, like an actual baby. Not a great look. Boxes are wrong. Not great. Like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> I'm legitimately pissed because the the boss looks cool and the boss is shit. The boss is legit shit because the <laughs> boxes are all he wrong. looks cool, but he's That's shit. Completely fucking stupid. Unlike Phil, who I looks mean, like shit and he is shit. Well, I man, guess. What so. are you talking about? Like, this is supposed to be 2022. This is supposed to be the epitome game that they've made. It's supposed to be the best game. Every game is supposed to be the the year that it is. Every year is it is that. What? Just because in 2020, it was fucking 2020, does that mean that Anthem was good? No, it was ass. I don't even know if it came out in 2020. Everybody forgot that shit existed. It's gotten memory hold out of existence. I don't know why I'm even Have talking about Anthem. Have you seen anyone throw a projectile like this and the bat projectile goes backwards? It's the current year, you guys. Everything should be great. Serious? What? But there's fucking the fuck? wars and shit. What? What were they thinking? And again, did they even practice with this boss? Did they test it? The first time a tester ran into that, I would have said, "We gotta fix it." The first time. Okay, he's completely past the dragon head. He still got hit by the flame. Let's fix that. 
Oh, he goes like this and the projectile goes backwards. Let's fix it. They didn't, they didn't care. Angry Templar did a super jazz as well. The, the attempts were good. That's what counts. You'll prevail. No, it's not. That's worse than Dark Souls combat. Never once as I was playing Dark Souls <laughs> did an enemy throw a projectile like this and the projectile just... Bro, it's a back. fucking projectile. Never seen that. Never seen it's that one before. projectile. Multiple times. Okay, so what? So what is going to happen? Is he going to boycott the game until it gets fixed? Nothing's going to happen. That's one of the worst... He's just going to cry about it and like we saw, he's going to go on Twitter and be a bitch. Be an actual, like an actual man-child on Twitter and complaining. Things I've ever seen in a From Software game. I've oh, and as always, he's he's way too pathetic for anybody to actually take him seriously and like ratio his tweets and be like, hey, look at this guy, let's make fun of him. Because he's way too pathetic for even that to happen. Because I saw some guy that did it that was... Um, I don't know. He was bitching about the game and then he posted some clips of himself playing and then it was actually terrible. And everybody made fun of him and they were like, hey, you're fucking dumb. You're playing the game wrong. And then he was ashamed, I guess, as much as you can be ashamed on getting ratioed on Twitter. But it's like, this is not even that. It's not even that. It's just like, I don't know what they're thinking. okay, I guess. Are you fucking moronic? Like, Hose mad. Projectile Stay mad. Forward. Not... Backward. You can't go uh and have a projectile go over your shoulder backward and hit someone behind you. I know he farted on you, but he didn't. He, <laughs> he farted, farted on, on you. What? You no, know he's supposed to be going for the shoulder in front and it goes backwards. <laughs> Who said this? Did Derek say this in chat? Point, I don't care. Hey, Phil, this guy if farted on that you. Happens, I'm just gonna quit out of the fight. Uh, every time it happens, I'm gonna quit. I yeah, this is a very that. fucking legit playthrough, by the way, because he was talking about in his. I don't know how long that video was, like 30 minutes coping about people thinking he's boring or something. It was a long fucking video. And he was talking about what would make his playthrough legit. Do you think moments like this make it legit? Do you think it makes it a better playthrough if you bitch about it like that? I'm not even sure if this is gonna go in the playthrough or if he just stopped recording because he's actually uh, very fake nice in his recordings and now he's kind of toxic. So I'm not I'm just gonna really sure. Go right out of the fight, be like, "Fuck this stupid thing!" What a bunch of idiots. Fr Listen, from Fuck everything. A lot of credit, but they they seriously don't polish their games. They don't. What their do you mean they don't polish their games? Their games always have input delay. They're, for some reason, they get away with having game mechanics that don't. Work oh, yeah. Because people say, "Oh, it's hard." Get. Ah, uh, shut the fuck up, DSP. This is a fucking tweet. This is a tweet. Cause I've seen this exact tweet. Oh, you guys. Uh, Elden Ring it gets uh, too much slack because uh, it's a From Software game. And it's not no. polished like all of their games, but it's this. It's this. He's just regurgitating bullshit. I could have kept my Twitter tab open and read this tweet and saved myself, what, five minutes. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, That's not even... How do, how do you learn on the fly how to avoid a projectile... That's going that way, but instead erupts out of his butt and hits you this way instead. Bro, it's, it's like they literally it. not a fucking big just, deal, man. It went the wrong way, right? <laughs> and you know he's going to talk about it today. He, you literally know he will. I can almost promise you. He's going to say, hey guys, last time we played Elden Ring, it, it's weird thing happened. Where he was like farting in my face and everything. Wow. That is just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And like I said, it's, the shame is it looks great. That boss fight looked great. I was like, oh, this guy looks cool. He's the gra he's another, you know, the spider guy, grafted arms and everything. This will be neat. No. <laughs> it's glitchy. It's uh. fucking unrefined. It's unpolished. Again. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's acting like he got violated. Probably because he did. And the thing is, I'm going to beat him. I know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to beat him. him. Come on. Be I'm determined. A few try. You saw I almost beat him one try. I know I can beat him. I got to learn the patterns of the dragon the half of the fight. And then I'll win. I'll win. It's not going to be a huge deal. But why is it that bad? Seriously. Why is it that bad? 
It's a, it's a <laughs> yeah, that was a player. WhatsApp for some reason, even though my WhatsApp is closed. No reviewers. I don't know why. I'm sorry no for this notification you got. That when he goes like this and the flames coming out of the face, that if you stand back here and you go to hit him, you light on fire for no reason. No one noticed that. 10 out of 10. No one noticed that he farts. Stop me. obsessing over fucking number ratings, you dumbass son of a bitch. It's the same thing like with Deathloop. Oh my god, some fucking game journalist that fucking loves AAA games and fucking just fucks around and gives games like all kind of fucking ratings. They gave this game this number, which means that I should rant about it. I don't even fucking know, because I'm so tired of these gaming fucking numbers, man. All, all these numbers, they don't mean shit. There's no 10 out of 10 games. They're no perfect games. They're all broken in some way. All of them. <laughs> okay. Even my anyway, favorite game, <laughs> FIFA 21. <laughs> and this was this clip. Well, congratulations, we fucking did it. And, uh, oh yeah, good thing I, I can see my own video, because I don't remember what I clickbaited you with. Oh, the burger beef. We already did two of the three things that I clickbait you with. You can go away in the next 10 minutes. You're not going to miss anything. So we did the burger, which I'm actually going to go back and watch that video from Kat's, uh, from, from Kat's birthday. Because that shit is fire. Fire video. Uh, Rage quits Elden Ring. He did it. I didn't lie. And then uh, being a living meme, he is. <laughs> Case in point. I can just go home now. Oh, wait. I'm already home. I work from home. Uh, let's go get the fucking Burger King video, because I'm... I, I love talking about that shit. Uh, DSP Burger King. Because, of course. <laughs> and let's pick one. Because there are so many of them, and they're all different. Uh, I would rather pick some with more editing. Like, this one, maybe. Because I, I haven't really watched this channel. So let's give it a try. If it's good, I'm going to encourage you to go and, and spam... Uh, the likes. I'm gonna uh, encourage some, uh, some love raids. <laughs> That's fantastic! Wait! Wait, wait, wait. Login admin, password ebeggar. Okay, we're at Burger King. Opening scene. A pig and a cat. <laughs> this is so good! This is so fucking good! Okay, you, you got me, go like it. Go like this. It's a love raid immediately. Go like this fucking video. This got me with the snorts and shit. 1473. Pull up to the window. <laughs> Wait, was this? This sounded like Ben Shapiro or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the drug addicts. This is the drug addicts. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is such a nice one. Devour. Yeah, this is by, uh, Last Terminal Network. Absolutely disgusting. Ah, uh, this is- there's so much sauce. They put too much sauce on the burger. Alright, now ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to talk a little bit about yesterday. I know you guys always ask me about what I do on my day off. Alright, now this is gonna be long, and the rest of this video- the- the sketch is done. Uh, so... We can go and watch the raw version, but this sketch was fucking nice. One of the best sketches. Uh, that is like DSP stuff. And there is like three, four videos about this. You gotta be fucking kidding me. He, how many times has he talked about this fucking Burger King? There's like, with retweets. Oh, this is great. Forbidden math. But anyway... The only Fantastic. Thing going on with me Forbidden Math is, is, uh, is back, by the way, which is really cool. Last night I posted up it's a really chill. Burger King situation. All right? And you may be wondering, what the hell's going on with that? Because my Twitter's <laughs> blowing up. Well, His Twitter is blowing up. And in this video, we get retweets, which is my favorite thing ever, because we get to see what actual people think about Phil, what actual people think about him. And not what the people in this chat say about them, who, who, they're not actual people. They're not people in reality, they're... People. Usual. You know what I mean? When I tweet something, it has to go out, out to the public. Even though this tweet was made <laughs> with only Burger King could respond to it. <laughs> this, tweet, this dude is complaining you know, so that his fucking public tweets are public. That his tweets are public. Lock your fucking profile. Make it private or whatever. Funny, 
And he's complaining about this. Uh, I don't know why I fucking Twitter make it work like that. When I post something and everybody gets to see it. Why can't just pay pigs get to see it? Just people with a lot of money. Ended up getting quote tweeted a bunch of times <laughs> and now it went viral. It went viral. By the way, it did not went viral. It didn't go viral. Last thing viral this guy's done is jerk off. I think, right? I think it's silly and silly. Didn't do a viral fucking clip. All I'm looking for is some restitution for this. This disgusting. Yeah, he got this on speed dial, by the way. Uh, big ups Andrew Predko for the sub. Baller alert. Baller alert. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he has this shit on on speed dial this layout with the picture he has it, it he pulls it up faster than he does the fucking uh the clown mode layout this goes up faster than that it's more important to the business dripping sopping uh because Funitan for the 243 super chat where did the 90s porn mustache go dude uh, i can't believe you noticed i shaved it yesterday it was just getting too annoying the story about this i don't need to tell you the story again you know how it was supposed to be at some point it gets too annoying celebrating my wife's birthday we had no intention of going to burger king it was a, it was just something we did on the fly because of a screwed up plan and this is what they gave me screwed up plan and it's now been actually now it's been over uh, since i complained okay we pause this here though because i want to get the full story and and maybe breaking apart the pacing like that is actually fucking up what i'm trying to do but uh, I want to go in and recap Kat's entire day birthday because it's extremely important for the economy and the, the global climate that we talk about this dumb bitch's birthday. <laughs> and I, I would like to derail this even more, but I, I actually, my laptop doesn't allow me, so I wouldn't. And I was going to play some Steven Seagal clips when he says, uh, I'm gonna snatch every motherfucker birthday. This is one of the best fucking moments. Hey, here it is. Aqua Teal, big ups. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to talk a little I'm bit about snatch yesterday. Every I know you guys always birthday. ask me about what I do on my day off, <laughs> and you want to hear stories. So I'm gonna tell you a story, and this is gonna be a little bit on the longer side. All right, so I hope that you guys are ready for a story. You ready for story time, or should I just skip it? You don't care about yesterday. You know, you don't want to be. Hey, what's up, sinful Aaron? You guys aren't here for entertainment. You just, you know, serious business. So you don't <laughs> want to hear the story about yesterday. And this right, is back in the day when, when he had, and I'm saying this back in the day, like it wasn't five months ago when I, like, actually a week after I made my channel, this happened. I'm not going to tell the story. No Fucking one wants to nice, hear it. man. Everyone's telling me in the stream chat, just skip it. No one cares about you or your personal life or anything like that. You're a boring person. Everyone hates you anyway. Who the hell? All right, I'll be right back. That, right? Okay. All right, forget it. All right, we'll skip it. Cool. We'll completely skip it, and uh, we won't talk about it. <laughs> Everyone in chat's going nuts, of course. What the hell? No, we want what? Tell the story. All right, so so here's the deal. Yesterday was a day. Cat and I specifically planned this day out to be a day that we would be able to spend the entire day together. We didn't have any appointments. We didn't have anything to interrupt what we wanted to do. We even had uh, reservations at a restaurant for dinner, specifically one that Kat had picked out. So everything was planned and well, and we were like, we're going to have a great day out. Okay? We were hoping anyway. Do you know the saying? <laughs> what is what is the Murphy's Law saying? Um, if anything can go wrong, it will screw you up the butt. I think that was Murphy's Law. I think that's how we worded it. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. All right, well, let's talk. ready for this. Let's talk. So first of all, in the morning, you know, we're getting ready. And uh, in, in reality, my, my wife, you know, wanted to get ready, wanted to, you know, put on her makeup and everything. And I said, well, I'll just run out. I'll go to the grocery store quick, a very quick trip, and just grab a few odds and ends that we're running low on. We didn't even really need anything. <laughs> what, paper plates? Meal we had to buy supplies for to make. Paper everything plates. Still had. It's so always paper sweet. plates. But a few things we had run out. So I said, okay, I'll run quick. I went to the grocery store, no problem. Grabbed a few things. She's getting ready. The Come least on. believable part of this is that he ran to the grocery store, which I know it's an expression, but it's it, it would be funny to imagine DSP running to the grocery store just like like this. <laughs> uh, right. I think my... Thing. Holy shit, my chair is squeaking like wings. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but it yeah, does. That 
My wife and I'm I officially don't fat really now. get a lot of time to sit down and plan stuff out, and when we do, we try to put effort into it. She plays Skyrim too much. Get stuff. So Does she plays Skyrim. Yesterday, guy, and and she leaves him to think about that stuff, and he just doesn't. Day that we took off, but well, you may have noticed something. It was not a normal day off. Normally, my days off are. It was a week, shitty right? day off. It'll be like a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, <laughs> something like that, and my wife and I didn't really think about that. We just thought, oh, it's just a day off. We didn't think in our heads it's a Sunday, all right? Big mistake, because on Sunday, it's the weekend. And on the weekend... Hey, on Sunday, it's the weekend. more people out than on weekdays, which is normally when we have our day out. <laughs> so he didn't so plan this out. increased traffic. All right. But this means that there also would be way more people going to the places that we want to go. We, there is a place that we've been going... Uh, big up Night Newt for uh, the, the subscriber. And it's a really nice place because it's a throwback ball, place ball, to like. I've been baller. telling my wife it really reminds me of the diners I used to go to when I was a kid. Uh, I used to go to a place called Friendlies with All my right. mom when I was a kid. My mom and I would have days out where she would just. And go this out is and fucking bizarre. Or or whatever, so this is fucking ball. bizarre. Hold on, this is fucking bizarre. This is bizarre. Him going out with his wife on her birthday reminds him of him going out with his mom. And to hang out and eat a burger or whatever. What the fuck is this guy? What is? What are your core memories? What? What happened? What did they do to you? Show me on this doll where they touched you. Together, go to the movies what? together. And then we would actually go out and get lunch. It would be at Friendly's. Friendly's is like an Friendly's. American style diner where you can get all kinds. Of <laughs> Sounds like a wheelchair burger, restaurant. <laughs> cheese, chicken. All Friendly's. Kinds of stuff. And I liked it because it was sit down in old style booths. Old style and, booths. What the fuck does that even mean? Amazing milkshakes and stuff. So I used to grow up going there. So there are places out here. There's one place in particular we've been going old to. Old style booths. The from the half, 60s? From the 1800s? How old? And off we go there. And it reminds uh, me of from the Soviet era. Kind of dining, like old diners. All right. We love this place. We love it. All right. The I'm just being too great, European, I guess. Outstanding, at least per american standards it's not gourmet food but it's basically if you like american diner food you're gonna like this place so anyway um we've been going there and we said well we want to go there for to celebrate my wife's birthday she loves it so much but we're we're so absent-minded we're not thinking oh it's sunday we drive there the entire place is full and there's people <laughs> waiting outside to get in and we're like you got to this strike in. one now strike one this is the first thing that fucks up we didn't have plans four minutes in into the 20 minute story what we wanted to that do i'm going to talk about day, for we probably would an hour and 20 minutes but we actually had plans the place where my, where my wife wanted to have dinner actually was a pretty far drive away and there was a big shopping area there and our plan was we were going to drive there it takes a while to get there but we were going to spend the whole day there going around doing a little bit of shopping and then having this nice dinner together but we didn't all right this is the last time i'm going to talk about this uh camera is going to ban world because even this doesn't work massive instability issues so uh, i'm sorry but I'll, I'll see you later alligators want to get stuck you know spending all this time waiting to get in to eat this place and by the way the place was but we don't need it anyways we're just listening that's what everybody says people and the thing is with covid you don't want to fucking be around a million people we like eating in places that don't have a lot of people in them because we feel it's safer okay even though we're vaccinated fully this delta variant motherfucker we don't want to get sick Okay, you know, even though we probably won't go to the hospital for it, we don't want to get sick and be stuck at home with, with COVID. We said we're not going to do it. Now, on a whim, we very foolishly did something we should not have done. We said, what is near us right now that we can just grab any food to put something in our bellies and then we can drive out to this area where we want to spend the rest of the day shopping and everything? Burger King. So we look and guess what's the closest thing to this diner? Burger King. Oh, good. Well, oh, good. we said, what the hell? We'll just drive to Burger King and grab something quickly. And and then we'll be off on our day after that. We'll get on the road and we'll drive out to this place. Burger King. <laughs> so why are you laughing? One block. Why are you laughing? But you 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 went to it on your wife's special day just because it was literally nearby. That's the only reason you went to Burger King. Hey, what's nearby? And this is what we did for the fucking great celebratory special event but for his birthday he has a week it's a week a birthday week an actual 40 year old man has a birthday week for his week but for for his uh for his birthday but for the wife's birthday they go to uh whatever whatever's nearby wherever the 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 least crackheads in front of it burger king as we're at this burger king we we firmly realize this is not 
the kind of Burger King that normally we would want to go to. I'm not kidding you. As we're waiting in the drive-thru, there are essentially drug users. Yeah, essentially drug users. Next to Burger King <laughs> doing drugs. Like, yeah, don't. Only... Go away. Go away. In view of us. Go we're away. Staring at Stay them like, back. Hey, that, guy's, that guy's shooting up. Baller alert. Yeah. Stay. Right in front of people at Burger King. People are shooting up. <laughs> like, oh. This might be a problem. Well, we better just. What if get they were just smoking weed? Imagine they were just smoking weed. Because in Seattle, it's uh, it, it's legal, right? They could have been smoking weed, but no, they're shooting up. I mean, may maybe they were fucking shooting up. But do you think DSP could tell what somebody was doing? But no, they're druggies, and he he really, 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 really looks down on on any kind of drugs. Really looks down on it. You smoke weed, he's gonna label you as he's like Onision. He's actually mad. So we order. Now, what did we order? My, my, my... Onision can justify keeping some girl in his basement just because she smoked weed. That's that's the kind of guy he is. Wanted to get a original chicken sandwich. Original chicken sandwich. Uh, Look at all the fucking I don't know how it's called epithets. Yeah, how it's called all the all the the attributes that what she wants to get. Oh, he said my mom. Likes did he say my mom? Out of here. So we order. Now, what did we order? My my. my oh no! No! Fucking stop it! Sandwich. Um. Get your ass combo. out. She likes the original work, chicken bitch. sandwich at Burger King. So she ordered that. Fuck. No. I ordered. Something no. That I hadn't tried. <laughs> That's why it reminds him. Everything reminds him of his mom. Yet. Yeah. The chicken, everything. chicken sandwich. They have a new chicken sandwich at Burger King. And they have two <laughs> varieties. They have a regular, which is like lettuce, Shit, tomato, man. onion, and mayo. And then they have one that's the spicy version, which is supposed to have spicy sauce and some spicy. other kind of sauce on it or something. Is it we custom? order... And we drive to a safe area. Pick up uh, Star Martin EBFG for the two month we get membership. The fuck out of there. Seriously, we get the fuck out of there. And we're like, <laughs> let's eat somewhere safe quick. Because the thing is, Burger King doesn't have the doors open. Now, we don't know if they don't have the doors open because of COVID. Because, because of zombies. There's fucking or druggies. Or druggies. Yeah, they. What? No. Right next to them. Shoot. Did you think that's how shit works? They they board up the windows because somebody is, is snorting coke outside or some shit? I don't even know if, what drugs are being done outside in front of a Burger King. What kind of an area do you live in, Phil? The fuck is this? Up. Maybe the druggies keep going into their store to shoot The druggies. Up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we want to do somewhere. Oh, maybe, yeah. Bathroom. Actually, maybe. Maybe they go to the bathroom. That That is a pretty, pretty crazy thing. Shooting up drugs. Who maybe, knows, yeah. Right? This obviously is not a good part of It's not a bad that. point. We drive to some. Maybe I'm, I'm I'm just giving uh, too much benefit of the doubt to maybe some people that shouldn't deserve it, just because I don't like DSP. Or at least we think it's safe. And we open our food and we we're gonna eat. So my wife starts eating. Her food seems good. She's like a little dry, but what are you gonna do? It's Burger King, right? I open up my bag. I eat a fry. Eh, Burger King fries are kind of crappy. I never really liked Burger King fries. And, uh, you know, the early 2000s, their fries were good. They used to have potato skins on the fry. Then they tasted good. But I've never been impressed with Burger King fries in the last, like, 10, 15 years. They suck. <laughs> Big so up Storm Martin for the super chat. King of Edible Complexes. <laughs> Dude, he wants to do a playthrough of his mom. That's what he wanted to do the whole time. He's like Chris Chan. He just wanted to do a playthrough of his mom. Finally, I go down. I go to grab and my And finish the mission. I'm like, what the hell? I pull my uh, hand out I'm of sorry bag. for this. My hand is completely covered in sauce. And this is so like, I, I don't fucking know what he did. He looks into a bag without seeing what's inside. It could, could have been a rat inside, could have been a bomb, could have been a mouse trap. <laughs> he just looks in, he reaches in, and it, it, all it comes out is sauce. They completely... Oh, by the way, for those who are actually looking at the screen, this it was it is not a shit post. what you're seeing. This is an actual slide in DSP's pre-stream. Did you know with Dark Side Phil? And they cut off this picture that you're looking at is DSP from Project 7. And Project 7 is his magnum opus with uh, Rambo and Howard, you know what I mean? And Rambo and Howard are suspiciously cut off this photo entirely. They don't exist. <laughs> they don't exist at all. And then uh, we have some some big pig explanation of his fucking life. It's terrible. I remember when these slides were a thing. I think they're, they're still a thing, but nobody watches them because it's what is before the, the pre-stream podcast. Please. So yeah, nobody watches this. They just tune in when Phil comes on the camera. Soaked 
the sandwich. When he does the, the little thing where he turns on the camera and just stands there and, and looks at people and makes a weird face. In sauce. What they do with this chicken sandwich is they wrap it in wax paper and then they put it inside of like a foil bag. They so should I, put I DSP in a bag foil bag. I put my hand in to grab the sandwich. And I'm <laughs> it's like, much safer for society. Fuck? Now I'm in a car. Much safer. I'm not at home. I don't have a ton of napkins with me. I don't okay. have a faucet. Do you have a wife though? Hand, right? This is me in a car. After this meal, we're about to drive a ways to go spend a day out. Nice for my wife's birthday. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I pull it out. I'm not kidding you. The entire wax paper was wet. There wasn't like it wasn't dry at all. I'm trying to unwrap the sandwich. And I'm getting increasingly covered in sauce. <laughs> it was the most sloppy, nasty fucking thing I've seen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, sloppier and nastier than story. than Phil. Uh, big up Ponyton for the super chat. Uh, look at this monkey blindly reaches in. Uh, hold on, in inside a fast food bag and then complains when his hand gets messy. No wonder shape is a factor when it comes to his food enjoyment. It needs to be easy to eat, not that, not like that stew. It needs to be something that you just simply put in your mouth and do some activity with your mouth and then swallow. And then you feel better and more satisfied. And then you go and you digest on the couch. This is an actual thing that DSP has said. That a cat was digesting on the couch. <laughs> this is how they relax. They digest and then they play Skyrim. Actually, only she plays Skyrim. This was so bad, I took a picture. Because I immediately said, I am going to complain about this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is the most revolting thing I've ever seen. So, I have a picture for you. He took you. a selfie. That was the sandwich that they gave me. <laughs> what you're seeing right now is what they gave me. At I Burger. mean, it's not beautiful, but... I, yeah, it, it looks like ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! It looks like it came out of someone's asshole. Oh, like thanks for the scat. Giant festering zit. <laughs> what? Pop that fucker right onto the sandwich. <laughs> How is this funny? That is what they gave me. Seriously. Stay. Oh my fucking god. Oh, is this funny? This was like the most disgusting thing ever. I mean, do I even have to describe it any like do I even have to say another word? Uh, I, I would have so eaten a thousand percent. I don't give a shit. If if it's a fucking Burger King sandwich, I'm gonna eat it. I don't give a shit about this. This does not bother me one bit. I'm gonna wash my hands simply, like a human being. I need it. I will I mean, devour this like an animal and then wash my hands like a human. I'm not even kidding you, that bun is covered a in bun? sauce like I touched. I got sauce on me. <laughs> it was saucy. How was I supposed to eat that? That is the most revolting thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it might taste it good. I don't Come know. Come on, you've seen your Look wife. That. I, that's vomit inducing. Like, I got sick to my stomach looking at it. No, you're not. I threw it out. I couldn't eat it. I took a picture. You're just I threw faking. It out, and I immediately it's the most, like, overreacting <laughs> fucking guy on the internet. This is like a simple sandwich. Just a sandwich, just a burger. It's nothing. It's nothing. Burger King's website. It's file nothing. A complaint. And why would you go to the website? The, the the shit that is like the lamest shit. You didn't even get it delivered. Because when you get it delivered, you can just report it on the app. You can just go to the drive-thru and be like, Hey, I just took this. Look at it. Give me a one that is not like this, please. Come on. I said, are you out of your mind? Uh, how about a YouTuber? You expect me to eat that? Like, how, it's, it's not even edible. Look at that. It's everywhere. It's No, see, someone just said you hold it in the wrapper. Look at the wrapper. The wrapper is soaked in sauce. <laughs> there is no dry part of the wrapper to hold on to to eat it. That wrapper is wet. And Just keep in mind, he, he was having arguments with people yeah, in his no chat about whether a wrapper is too covered in like, sauce to I eat. I don't know what that yellow shit is on it, but oh my god. Like, it doesn't look like mayo. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but that is nasty shit. Like I said, that looks like a zit. That someone was festering zit and they went. All right, we got this. Over, yeah, you said the joke that already. Is fucking nasty shit. It's some bad stand up. Why would I want to eat that? All I had for 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 my meal yesterday was fries. I'm serious. I threw out the sandwich. I couldn't eat that. So all I did was eat eat the sandwich. That was it. And I we drove away. We had to go on. You know, we had we had plans for the day. Um, and I did complain. And I have written back and forth with Burger King twice in the last 24 hours. Wow. Basically, they apologized. I sent them the picture, and then they really apologized. Yeah, he looks like, like I, I wonder how long he spends every day uh, emailing people. Because according to Coffee Man, 
they have over 200 emails between them with like behind the scenes contribution discussions and uh, coffee man telling him dude today i'm gonna drop by and and do a drive by hundred dollar tip and sounds good and then phil is like okay i'm gonna be expecting it and then it happens and then everybody pretends like they're shocked get this restaurant but he he was talking to to burger king corporate he was emailing them allegedly and then they ghosted him after i don't fucking know i don't i legitimately don't know in contact with me Especially i legit don't happens, know probably the manager of the store will apologize and be like oh here's a few free credits to come and, and get free food do you really think well, I want what to do you want that burger king really do you really think i want to go there oh my I god i have to see i have to see people shooting up while i'm <laughs> buying food well and then are, are there's i don't know eat, i don't know that? like are you out of your I don't mind know. so even if they give me free stuff i probably aren't even gonna go there i hope if they do give me anything free i hope they give it to go to another burger king that's a better one because that place is fuck seriously <laughs> so then we leave and we're off on our day okay the good news is we did have a lot of fun we ended up going to a few stores and things that normally we wouldn't go to because they're not in our local area. It was further out drive and everything. We had a nice day. But why, did, um, why didn't you eat there then? Why did you eat at Burger King, which was close by? And that's why you went there because it was close by. But then you went further away to drive to stores. Why didn't you eat good food instead of going to Burger King? I'm just confused, man, because this guy, it's, it's just, you hear him ramble and ramble and ramble, and the moment you decide to pay any attention, everything starts falling apart. And then he keeps rambling, and you try and unravel his nonsense live, and figure out if he's lying to you, or he misunderstood everything, because he's really, really just simply that dumb. Weather was fucking hot. Oh. It wasn't supposed to be. The weather claim what is hot? What is now the the weather is the problem? Now this is disaster number three, I guess. After the first thing being fucked up, then the burger being fucked up, then this is happening. Now the weather is hot. So then we leave and we're off on our day. It's gonna get a okay. sunstroke. The good news it's is it's not the first stroke you got. A lot of fun. We ended up going Allegedly. to stores and things that normally we wouldn't go to because they're not in our local area. It was further out drive and everything. We had a nice day. Um, the weather was fucking hot. It wasn't supposed to be. The weather claimed that the high for the day was going to be in the low. They 70s. lied. It was in the 80s. <laughs> they lied. So fucking 80s sweating. Say our that balls they lied. Out here because the car was so goddamn hot. Because it was so hot. So you need a better car. It was just like, oh come on. It figures that our day out we planned for for a cat's birthday ends up being insanely hot and we're sweating. But you know what you could do about that. <laughs> you know, whatever. Make but the bro. best. The good news is. We had How did you make the best of it? You spent 12 minutes complaining that everything was terrible and for 30 seconds said, you know, it was fun. We went to some stores and shit. And we did. We went to it. Like I said, we went to right. stores or whatever. We went to a few areas normally we wouldn't have gone to. We actually got a new kind of treat for Jasper. That's uh, it's supposed to be like a puree of both tuna and shrimp. And he loves seafood. Oh, my God. So Why do we have to talk about him? If we order seafood... Fuck Jasper. Now, fuck Jasper. Legit. When you come to this stream, <laughs> always say fuck Jasper. <laughs> I hate Jasper stories. I hate them. I can't stand stories about Jasper. The least interesting cat alive. I don't hate cats. I like pets a lot. But when somebody makes their pet to be this X-Man, this fucking paranormal creature that has like... 4D personality and can communicate with you and shit like this? No! Jasper is a simple fucking cat. And you make him out to be more than a simple fucking cat because you got no friends. I'm starving. The only thing and I've food talk. all day long was a small fries from Burger King. I didn't eat anything else all day. At least... Confirmed he didn't eat the burger. Cat had had a chicken sandwich. I was starving. I'm like, okay, good. It's finally time for dinner. Okay, so where did we go for dinner? We had a reservation. <laughs> Disaster number four. At a Japanese style restaurant. It was supposed to be three different kinds of cuisine. They had a hibachi grill. So if you wanted to get hibachi stuff, they would cook it for you. It's not happening. It was also known as a steakhouse. So they make Japanese style steaks. And <laughs> Japanese also style. Restaurant. So it says right on the front, hibachi, <laughs> seafood. No, it said steak. Hey, seafood. seafood. Sushi. It says right on the front on their sign. That's how they advertise themselves. Cat had actually ahead of time. 
made this reservation and looked it up and saw the menu and she had picked out kinds of sushi that she wanted to try she was like man they look like they have some really unique good sushi here okay i can't wait to try this new sushi okay this uh this this paraphrasing of cat is completely unnecessary by the by the way we can cut this out of the story if if i was to do an editorial of this story i don't know I i don't even know what an editorial means if i was to edit this story you know what i mean uh, I would have cut this whole paraphrasing of cat because that's yeah, uh, it's the most bland sentence ever. Hey, I would like to try this. Well, You're thanks for fan. fucking the quote. Thanks for the quote. Remarkable. Pretty good. I couldn't drink because I had to drive home, but she was gonna have a drink or two while we were there. We're waiting finally to our reservation. We we get up to the door. As we we walk to the front yeah, door. Yeah, cat made the reservation. Wait, because I'm door. missing. Because Steve got this, and I've already watched this video, and Steve has a video about this. And uh, he catches all of these, but I it went over my head. <laughs> Cat made the reservation an hour beforehand. That's how they advertise it. <laughs> Cat had actually, ahead of time, yes. made this reservation and looked it up and saw the menu, and she had picked out kinds of sushi that she wanted to try. She was like, man, it looks like they have some really unique good sushi here. I can't wait to try this new sushi they're going to have. And also, their drinks menu looked pretty good. I couldn't drink because I had to drive home, but she was going to have a drink. can take home. a Uber. We're waiting finally to our reservation. We, we get up to the door. <laughs> As we're, we walk to the front door, there's a giant sign on the front door. Oh, sorry. What did it say? No, no pigs? Sushi today. No sushi. What? No. We couldn't believe it. We had, we had made the reservation and get, went there specifically to get sushi get your ass for out Kat's there and birthday. Fucking work, bitch. No sushi today. Cuck life. We open the doors and what's going on? <laughs> they got cucked. Oh, well, our sushi chef they got super cucked. gets two days off a week, Ball Sundays alert. and Mondays. So he's off today. I'm like, you didn't say that online. Nowhere on your fucking website does it yeah, say I mean that, that you don't have... I'm a thousand percent sure that he misunderstood something yet again. But uh, I don't know how the days off work with the sushi guys. I don't know anything. Maybe it said it on their website with massive letters and just this fucking moron didn't see it. Or his wife who is equal or more indented <laughs> didn't see it. Maybe. Maybe they were just assholes and they were like, man, we should fucking pretend like we serve sushi on Sundays, but actually don't. Sushi. We would scam so many stupid people. On Sunday or Monday. We, re- we made this reservation over two weeks ago to come here for sushi. Oh, we're sorry about that. Well, do you still want your reservation? No! Fuck off! No! So I wonder what his actual reaction on the spot was. Because this, now we're getting the, the, the alpha male fill. No! We don't want the fucking reservation, you, you lame brain pieces of dumb fucking shit. And and the in real life it was probably like no I don't I don't want my reservation I don't need it anymore you don't even have sushi, but it, it was definitely a Karen thing I don't think he turned around and like I don't know left like a like a soy boy or something but and Cat yeah. was very upset and I don't blame her Cat was very upset this- she was crying in the car and wiped her tears with the with the greasy papers left from the the chicken sandwich stuff planning this special day out sad for violin. The first We're meal playing a game. whole and, uh, quartet, quintet of, of sad violins. And it's the smallest violins in life. They're like microscopic violins. Well, the second meal is fucking ruined. So what did we do? We thought about what we wanted to do. What a and sad fucking day. She basically really wanted sushi. <laughs> I said, well, at this point, now here we are, way far away from home. I said, the only thing I could think of, we could do one of two things. We could try to find another sushi restaurant in the area, if there's any that are even good. Or we could go to a sushi restaurant we know we like, or we can go home and order. So go to a restaurant you know you like. Area, Why not? Sushi restaurant. The only one in the area is this place called Trappers. But Trappers, the trappers. is a trap foodie, meaning it's really a trap really house. Down dining, all these, there's a it's bar not for food, there, yeah. And they have it's this a trap really house. Rotating you go there, you trap in, and you, you go away. Sushi off. It's not like made for order or anything. <laughs> they have a like, conveyor belt. Is it called a conveyor belt? Isn't it just like a buffet? Or like you, you know, I don't you know. Go there for lunch I'm just nitpicking for the sake of it. It's fun. Sit down and have a birthday dinner at Trapper Sushi. You know what I'm saying? So then we're like, okay, why don't we go to the sushi restaurant that's near our house that we normally would go to anyway? Yeah, that's a great idea. Her birthday. What? I guess forget it. We'll just go there. We look it up. 
Well, well, you can still go there. And of course, it was closed. This was disaster number six or seven or something. This is the worst planned planned day in the history of planned days. Closed on Sunday. The worst. So we don't even have the option to go to our usual place for sushi because yeah. it's closed. But they could have just gone there and just ordered a bunch of food and make it special by just spending more money than usual. Because they already know they're going to like it. They don't have to go to a random restaurant that maybe it's going to be bad or maybe it's going to be closed. But no, instead, uh, instead they actually ended up ordering food. Day that we have off. So that's an experience Finally, of a lifetime. Like we're at our wit's end, and we're like, "What are we gonna do?" Well, you Hello, know, Renee, we can what's up? Here, we can bitch, we can moan, we can. Stand what's up, people, boy? Like that. You know, we can, be a bunch we of can bitch, we can moan. That's what you did. That's what you are doing right now. We or can be a bunch of Karens. Take the, take the lemons, make but no, this is out. what he said on the spot. So he didn't complain on the spot. He is complaining after the fact. Now that everything is okay and they had a nice time at the end of the day. But we are complaining now because people are listening. That's why he is complaining because somebody is listening. That's his massive problem in life that nobody listens to him because there's nobody he can talk to. Who? There was Rambo and then Rambo became a, a dispenser for co-op playthroughs. And Howard wasn't even a friend of his. It was just an acquaintance for co-op playthroughs. Who, who is the last fucking person to, to talk to him nicely and friendly? Probably the coffee guy. Out of the lemons. Uh, so I said, we're going to go home really quick. And I drove us home as fast as I possibly could. Complaining I every day. Times. I broke this, I've actually broke the sound barrier a couple of times, I'm sure. The I snort barrier. Break the speed limit. I'm actually, it, it, contrary to popular belief about how I drive in video games, I am one of the more conservative drivers out here. The drivers out here are out of their fucking minds. Like, we're driving on a road. I'm not familiar with the road. Like I said, we're away from home. It says 40 mile per hour speed limit. So I will drive like 40, 45. We got people flying by us going like 70 miles per hour <laughs> on a regular road. This isn't a fucking highway. Yeah, These maybe. Regular roads. Yeah, maybe you're just a grandpa. Maybe you're just. If you go outside, you know, you go outside and everybody is fucked up and everybody is wrong and everybody is a moron. And everybody is a fucking idiot. And everybody fucks everything up and is sloppy and is stupid and it's lame. Maybe that's just you. If it's everybody's problem, that maybe it's simply just your problem. And by the uh, way, the roads where we were driving on were very narrow with no guardrails on them. So if you drive off this road, you're driving off into the woods. It's like... <laughs> uh, these people are out of their mind. Uh, big yeah. meth bear for a $10 super chat. He repeatedly showed that fucking sandwich, proving Burger King is stupid. But he refuses to show emails where YouTube told him to delete videos because of false copyright strikes, ruining his business. Uh, it was his fault, man. He can't show anything, by the way. He can show only things that benefit him uh, directly to prove his own point. He, he can't show anything that might prove somebody else's point against him. Very nice. Even if other people are showing evidence on his behalf against him. Home as fast as we can. Like it happened with the leaks. That's just the guy who he is. So what are we He can do? show you a piece of paper that has some nonsense written on it that just says bills. Or he can show you, what was it? He showed his phone for something once. It was really weird. I think it was kind of recent. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I legit don't. The Japanese restaurant we have been ordering from recently and getting delivery at home. The sushi that we've tried from there is good. The problem is the delivery sushi isn't great. It comes And of course, warm. disaster number a thousand. This is the worst day in the history of mankind. This day that these two experienced. Everything went wrong. At every point of the day, everything went wrong. There wasn't an element of the day that was okay. When he went out of his house, uh, I, I'm not going to recap the day, but when he was driving, people were driving like shit. It was too hot. The food he ate was bad. He had to go home and fucking order food. Everything failed. What a terrible fucking day. It's falling apart by the time it arrives because it's delivery. You know, you order anything like DoorDash or Uber Eats. You're not getting it for 30 to 45 minutes after they already made it. So it's, it's all been kind of sitting there. So what we want to do is, well, let's do it anyway. So we ended up ordering like, like three kinds of sushi from this restaurant. And it was pretty good. Admittedly, one of the sushis was outstanding. This is this one actually had salmon and tuna on top, and it had like okay, like, it had like crab. Thanks. I'm gonna write this down. It. That one was like it's very important food. lore. And normally, Phil I'm not had raw fish. sushi with salmon like, and wow. tuna. The flavor was outstanding. 
One of them was really basic. It was just like cream cheese and tempura shrimp, and it was too basic for me. I didn't like it that much. And then the last one had eel, and I actually like the eel. I think it's like savory, but Cat <laughs> liked the other one, the, the one with the fish on it better. So okay. Anyway, we ended up eating at home as if as if it were just a normal day yeah we well you home. fucked up you fucked up everything at every step of the way you fucked up and you, you you fucked up you didn't know what time it would be outside so you didn't take any clothes even though you have a car to store it in you didn't fucking make sure that the restaurant you were going to was going to be open or it's going to serve what you wanted it to serve and then you went to fucking Burger King that people are doing drugs in front of, which is completely your fault. Nobody made you order shit from there. Eating at home. And what you get? You get a bad burger from a bad Burger King in a bad fucking neighborhood. What a it surprise. Sucks, you know? And it, it, it sucks because we Who could figure out this out? To plan this special day for her and try, I try to do everything possible. To, I, what you did know? you try to do? Like what? She did the reservation for the sushi place herself. Just so you guys know, because some people ask ridiculous stuff like, oh, ridiculous did you stuff. Of course I did. It's of actually, course. I and he's not going to tell you because it's fucking expensive. It's probably another exercise bike. Since he says I ordered it, I don't know. It's just off the top of my head. Which exercise bike lore is also pretty interesting. When they got an exercise bike and those two mature fucking adults couldn't put it together. So DSP claimed it was broken and refunded it to Amazon. This is the fucking amazing story, in case you didn't know. Because they couldn't put together an exercise bike. A bit ago. And what she's getting for her birthday is coming later this week. Nothing I can do about that. Delivery time. Yeah, is maybe she got a PS5. Maybe she got a PS6. I don't fucking know. She's getting another present. Yeah, Because it's like, it's really bizarre how shit works in their household. Because he pays for everything, but she has her own money too. For questionable reasons. Like what, play Skyrim? Buy more editions of Skyrim? Buy more Bethesda credits on the store? How are they even called? I don't know. This day out was was supposed to be the majority of her present, but she's getting something else later this week. But, you know, it is what it is. It, it, the day con, I'll be honest, the day was disappointing compared to what we had imagined okay. it was going to be. But there's not much you can do about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, no present on the life birthday. Life fucks you over and you just gotta make the Yeah, best life day. fucks you over. Did life fuck you over to not order the, the present <laughs> earlier? Great day regardless. Like I said, the time we spent between the fucked up meals was actually but, really good. But that was, hold on. And now... In the end, the bottom line is that the day was actually a great time. It was a great time. Why bitch about it for 21 minutes? About everything that went wrong, which was coincidentally everything that happened during that day that went wrong. Fuck shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, big up slime for the $5 super chat. Naturally. Everything bad happens on Kat's birthday. And yet, when it's time for his birthday week, he's gonna act like everything is positive. Everything is probably gonna be positive. He's gonna get a lot of generous contributions from uh, unknown pay pigs we had that will never return. And probably by then, we might even get gifted memberships. Wow. And if he begs for likes hard enough, maybe he's gonna even get super thanks. Which is something that I see extremely rarely. So DSP's probably not getting it. Come on. Yeah. But speaking of features like super things, you can go on his Twitter and you can send him a tip. That's how it works. He has Twitter tipping turned on, which is one of the most bizarre features. Don't even ask me why that's a thing. Why would I ever want to give somebody money for their tweets? A lot of fun together. And I'm happy about that. Uh, there's a lot of people that I would like to take money from for their tweets. They need to fucking pay to be able to tweet this shit. A whole day with Cat. Usually it's <laughs> half the day is run errands, appointments and shit. And then we wedge in time. Errands. What do you even that. do? This is day fully dedicated errands. To I, want, I want him to itemize his errands. But he can't, of course, because we're going to troll him. We're going to say, hey, Phil is lying again. And then he's going to say, no, I'm not. Trust me. And that was really nice. So we still had a good one. All right. Well, this is the official story. As good as we had wanted it to be. It was good, but nowhere near as good. Okay. It's like DSP in, in some way. This is the original one. And now we actually get into the follow-up stories from, from the burger fucking saga. And in 45 minutes, when this asshole actually starts, he is probably going to talk about it again because he is that guy. Now, there we go. Some... Uh, Hold on. This is from the 12th of December. This is two months ago. Then we get five months ago. This is with the retweets. Okay. Then we get into this one. So this was, I guess, immediately after the first one. It's the second one. And this is 20 minutes long. Anyway, the only thing really Go figure. 
is uh last night I posted up a tweet about the whole Burger King situation. All right, and you may be wondering. <laughs> Oh, and it says he ate it. Hold on. Forbidden Math says he ate it. I want to figure this out. Did he fucking lie? Because in the previous video, a thousand million thousand percent, it is confirmed that DSP said he did not have anything else but fries. This is extremely important to this case. You guys, I don't think you understand how important it is to society as a whole that we figure out if Darkseid fucking Phil ate that whole burger or ate that burger at all, or only had fries. It This could change the entire landscape of life. And uh, big up Sinful Aaron for the $10 super chat. Uh, says, uh, Grug needs people to feel bad like Grug feel. Grug no like happy when he no happy. <laughs> Grug hate when horse wife kick Grug in nuts. Grug go drink happy juice and forget about the Praptors. Uh, Baller alert. I wish I had some some grug sound effect, but I don't. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I need to make some. Well, as you, I need to think of something. Big ups uh, for the super chat, sinful Aaron. Thank you very much. Tweet was made with oh yeah, and we're back to complaining about uh private public tweets. Apparently, got you know some people saw that it was funny, and ended up retweeting it, and then the tweet ended up getting quote tweeted a bunch of times, and now it went viral. It's not viral. A Burger King tweet of all things, right? I think it's silly and stupid, you know? Because all I'm looking for... Okay, if you have a shout-out to Grug, then I can take it. This disgusting... All right, we get the, bur the burger comeback. ...sopping mess. Now, I've told you guys the story about this. I don't need to tell you the story again. You know how it was supposed to be <laughs> a day that I'm celebrating my wife's birthday. We had no intention of going to Burger King. It was, a, it was just something we did on the fly because of a screwed-up plan. And this is what they gave me, right? And it's now been, actually, now it's been over 11 days since I complained. And I've gotten absolutely... 11 days! At some point, after like, I don't know, I would say three days, even maybe two days, with something like this, uh, it's it becomes embarrassing if you start bringing it up. And uh, because he doesn't have friends, but if you had friends, and if you told him, I'm still waiting for my burger refund from 12 days ago, they were gonna laugh their asses off and fucking mock you because that's what friends do. Come on. They're supposed to put you on the, on the right track unless they're trash. Meaning but no, this guy's still holding on to it. Man, I want my fucking refund. They can't treat me like shit like everybody is treating me. Well, maybe you are kind of shitty. If, if the people at Burger King can even figure out that you are this trash and this lame, maybe you are. And they expect like you're gonna eat there, right? Contacting the franchise owner. The franchise owner is supposed to contact you about this issue to give you a resolution, and they never contact me. So it's obvious the franchise owner doesn't care. I don't really care either. Like at this point, I have absolutely no desire at all to go back to that Burger King. Like, if you seriously, if you were given this. Right? In a, in a to-go bag. Not even like, oh, you're eating it in the restaurant so you can complain and get your money back or even clean it up with some napkins. Imagine they handed you this in a to-go bag and they put three napkins in the bag and they expect like you're going to eat there. Right? So I have no opportunity to get a refund. Can't even go inside the building. It's locked. <laughs> Can't get a refund. Right? And then I contact the company and for 11 days... They just 11 call, fucking oh, days. Oh, keep asking them for a resolution. And not <laughs> well, they, you're the company. And he what he he spammed them and they responded to him. Hey, excuse me, Phil Burnell. Apologies, uh, best regards, but we we we're trying to reach the higher ups, the the actual Burger King. They're gonna hit him up for a refund. He is not the company. You the actual the guy on the logo. So if I'm asking you for help, you should be helping me, not be asking the individual restaurant. Like, what kind of responsibility is this? You know. So I'm hoping. But DSP, you ask everybody for help. At some point, it's like the, the boy who cried wolf. This morning. And I, I emailed them back again. I was like, at this point, I don't want to hear from that, that restaurant. I have no intentions of ever going back to that restaurant ever again since this person ignored the problem. It's obviously they don't care about it. I don't really know the, the color of the wrappers. I never noticed. I just eat the burger. Ignore it completely. Whether you want to do something to try to make them understand that this is disgusting and not acceptable, that's on you. Well, I just want 
a restitution, whether it's just my money back or you do something else. I don't care. I just want something. This you make Phil day, day at Burger King. I could not the day that he took the burger, it's now Phil day. Uh, big ups Lord Boros for the uh, super chat. Uh, DSP spends more money on sweaty man JPEG than he does on his wife. That's facts. That is facts. And I was hungry. That all is day. facts. You know, How sick is Dutch the rap? It, it is pretty cool. There's some stuff, but I don't understand because I'm not Dutch. They're just blowing it off for 11 days in a row and doing nothing. Okay. They're blowing it off. He's like that I that fucking guy that made the the somebody I used to know song. He's exactly that. You didn't have to cut me off, Burger King. And I I don't have the firepower to turn it on, but you know what I mean. You can't go in. You can't go inside. All the the restaurants here are still locked, but you know because of COVID. They haven't opened up. Everything is dry. Yeah, maybe he was hoping for uh, Burger King for life. Actually, like major. It's like Bad Boys for life. Dinners and stuff. You can't just go to a McDonald's or a Burger King or a Wendy's and sit down inside. They're all closed. None of them have indoor seating. Maybe it is where you are. You know, it's very different. I, I understand. In the United States, everywhere has been completely different on this. Some places have had things opened or whatever, but you know. What do I want for, for a five dollar burger? First of all, it wasn't five dollars, it's not a burger. Why does everyone call this a burger? All right. No, really. I want to an answer on this one. Okay. I'm getting all these tweets about my Burger King tweet, and people are like, the burger, the burger. It's not a burger. Can't you tell that can't you tell that that's a chicken sandwich? Why is everyone saying this? Oh, I burger? hate this discussion. It's, like it's terrible. My SoundCloud link, it should be in the description of this video, probably. Is it, is it that everyone feels that anything you buy from Burger King is a burger? Is this like how in the 1980s, everyone was like Nintendo games, even though it was video games? Oh my or god. And it's like, he just wants to be right about something. So he's gonna argue with some random fucking asshole in his chat that says it's actually a burger, but no, it's a sandwich, whatever, it doesn't matter. A burger. That's not a burger. Semantics god. Does it even look like fucking meat? Like, like red meat? Of course it doesn't. It looks like you, actually, you want to know that actually looks like meatballs. To me, that looks like. Oops, sorry for the sauce, right? With cheese. I think the audio was gone for a second That's there. Actually, what that so I unplugged like, my shit. At a second time from a different perspective, right? Damn. Damn. But anyway. Uh, Still having sandwich fucking viewings. I've responded calling this a burger, and it's not. I don't understand. A burger is, a ha you know, hamburger. Short for hamburger. No, this gets the skip. This gets the chop. When you call a burger, everything else you call bitch. That was obviously botched. So that still blows my mind. But again, I'm learning stuff. Remember how long it took me to say football instead of soccer? Because in, in the United States, we all say soccer, but that's not true. In, Amer in the world, it's called football. And, you know, yeah, America, it is. It's it's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> how is it like it's only seen from your country's perspective? But then no, how... you're just stupid and close-minded, and you don't know anything, and you you lack uh curiosity. The most curiosity this guy fucking has is to eat some Filipino food or Thai food or some I don't know sushi and shit like that, and to experiment with new foods. And this for him is like broadening your horizons. In, in all the ways. Opening your third eye. He goes on a explorative journey throughout time and fucking space. When he eats a chicken burger that is uh, special. International no, it's just him. And now he's blaming it on being American. Because all the Americans, they don't know anything. They don't know soccer and football and anything. Of course. All these things about the rest of the world. It blows and uh, there's something I, I was watching Tevin's stream from a couple of days ago. The, the second Elden Ring part. And, and one of my favorite things he said uh, was DSP brings up the fact that he's American or Italian or Polish only for the stereotypes that are fucking the bad stereotypes. So he's Italian when his hair is greasy and when, when he likes to make pizza and, and shit like that. And he's American when he's actually stupid. And doesn't know anything. That means he's American. It's not that he is stupid. It's that Americans are, are I guess, according to him, stupid. Every day when I learn about something like this. And he learns about something new every day. That soccer is called football. And that this is a sandwich, not a burger. And he's 40, by the way. Okay. So anyway, it's funny. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because the, the tweet 
basically now has blown up. Not only Kalk is it blown up. Like, oh, he gets to show it. Or no, this, this somebody else. This from Forbidden Math. Uh, DSP wouldn't do something like this because look at this. Look, 300 likes, 470 quote retweets. So these, all these people are making fun of him. All these people, like 500 people, and 108 retweets to just like I fucking guess. But yeah, it's not it's not viral. It's viral in the in the ways that it's 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 ratio. It's not viral. Completely and utterly different. It's a ratio plus get a job. That's what it is. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. Completely and utterly different. Ratio. Like in one case, it's like someone laughing about it and saying, wow, that burger is disgusting. It looks like someone splooged all over your sandwich. And in another case, I'll get an answer like, why didn't you just go inside and get a Oh. Oh. I wonder if you guys have seen the reactions to his pizza. DSP's fucking pizza. Now we get a derailment segment because this is something that I have to show you. It's like, it. I, I'm almost uh, obligated to show you. DSP Gaming, what was it? Pizza, uh, I don't fucking know, just pizza. And one of the recent ones. Uh, which one is it though? Ah, fuck you DSP and all your fucking pizza devouring upload date. Let's sort it like this. Oh yeah, making the worst pizza. This is uh James the Lesser video. This is the fucking pizza, and this got ratioed as well. They made fun of him very generously. What did he say here? Like, I'm looking to do pulls with Nightbot and stuff, and I think it would still work here on YouTube. Like we were trying to get it to work on Twitch. Here we go. And this is the fucking pizza he made. And the caption to this was uh, here it is, right? When, when my wife gets home from work and wants pizza, we don't order out, or whatever it says here. I make her a pizza. And this was published on Reddit under, I don't know in, in which subreddit it is. Yes. It's a very particular pizza. I guess James Deles was going to tell us. My wife gets home from work, snort, and wants pizza. I think it was ugly pizzas or something like that. Shitty pizzas, whatever. And this was uh, closer to viral than the 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 previous thing that he posted anyways back to the burger but yeah people made fun of him for that it's his pizza and yeah fun which i've already explained the situation if you have it in context you know the store was locked you couldn't go inside i wasn't going to sit in a drive through line when we were in a hurry to get we were <laughs> and there was one uh one one quote retweet said uh sit in a drive through line where is it he he's more upset over this than getting departnered from twitch we were in a hurry to get where we were going to uh sweet over at my wife's birthday I wasn't gonna go to the fucking drive through line again to complain and try to get a refund on the spot and the only opportunity i had to complain was later on online yeah somebody says come but i already explained very that. nice the gout burger tweet completely out of context <laughs> the other thing that really gets me I had a bunch of people saying there was nothing wrong with the fucking burger. Is, so if you guys look at the tweet, as you know, I stopped having my tweets be open to responses. because I get Yeah, because you're a bitch. So when I tweeted this, I have it closed to responses. Only Burger King can respond <laughs> to the tweet. Now he's going to shit on Twitter. Burger King. The way Twitter is made. Nobody is, was supposed to make fun of me. Fucking Twitter piece of shit. Okay. Well... They're not supposed to make fun of me, man. I'm supposed to say anything I want on the internet in the most fucking outrageous, cringe ways, and everybody should just put up with it, and no one should complain about it or say anything, because I disabled their right to do so. so it's like, now wait a minute. Obviously, I purposely tweeted this to get Burger King's attention, because I felt that I'm not getting the response that I want from their customer service department. So obviously, if I'm making a public posts like this is because I want Burger King to see that it's an issue and to try to help me. I'm not looking for anyone to respond to it. That's why I closed down responses. Okay, that's why. That's why there's no open responses to it. So then everyone goes out of their way to quote tweet the tweet. It's like, wait a minute. So you missed the point, right? If you're actively going out of your way to quote tweet the tweet, all right, and you're making a joke or whatever, that's okay. But there's literally people out there who are like quote tweeting, oh, he's a Karen. And I have people who I guess aren't gamers insulting me for being a gamer. I guess they're not gamers. <laughs> yeah, there was that, uh, some of that, that tweet. Somebody called him gamer, literally, as a slur. It was something like, oh, you and your fucking gaming, you gamer. 
<laughs> it was so funny. I I saw it. Oh, this is a typical gamer attitude. Okay, Ty typical what? gamer what attitude. What is this? I can't believe some of the responses I'm getting. Like I said, it's it's actually. Uh, you were just a bitch. A big variety of. <laughs> you were just yeah. like an asshole. Laughing. <laughs> they called me a fucking slur. Some people are actually grossed out, which I agree. I'm grossed out too. Okay. Some people are saying that I should. I, it's not. They call them a dramatic man child. These these retweets are great. Now this is freaking me out. Some people. Some people are saying that looks delicious to them. Well, you ordered it, not them. So you're kind of the the fool in this situation. <laughs> so buddy, of course, of course they're gonna pose the jizz phase. Of course, it's the bust phase. Uh, this that looks delicious to you. What the fuck? Get 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 your ass you know, out there like, and fucking huh? work, bitch. I can't even. And no, I you gotta think they're trolling. You gotta think they're trolling. It's gotta be a joke. There's no way someone actually thinks that. It has to be a joke, you guys. Right? It has to be and a joke. some people who are like, um, just let it go. It's only a few dollar sandwich. Just let it go. But here's what you gotta understand. A couple things. Number one. I can't let anything go. Here's what you have to understand. I literally can't let anything go. Anything. Unless he wins. Whatever that means. He needs to win. And if he wins, he's going to hold this against you forever. And if he doesn't win, he's going to hold this against you forever. It's going to be a grudge. This thing has been like... It's not... If he wins, it's going to be a flex until you die. And if he loses, it's going to be a grudge until you die. It's a meme on my streams for like a week and a half. It's a meme. It's a, I mean, look it's a meme honest. that I can't let anything go. No. Yeah, well, you talked about it for a combined, like, what, an hour? But at the same time, would I like actually to be acknowledged that I got cheated at a restaurant and get something I got cheated. Yes. yes. You know who got cheated? Jeff Subaru. The the Jeff guy. You know? The cat? Former uh, romancer? He got cheated. I got cheated and I want some kind of restitution, man. That's what he said. You know? And the fact that they're not taking it seriously is kind of messed up. But it's been a running meme. That's probably also what he said. The majority of people on planet Earth don't care about it. That's why I'm not going crazy. I'm just posting it as a, as a tweet with only Burger King can respond to it on my timeline. Why people are literally going out of their way to quote tweet it and like, oh, I don't care about They're it. going out of their way. No, they're on Twitter. What do you mean they're going out of their way? People go on Twitter to make fun of stuff and they see something they can make fun of and they can't reply to it to make fun of it. So they quote retweet it to make fun of it. So that's how Twitter works. Welcome to the internet, Grandpa. You do because you quote tweeted it. Grandpa side Phil. You could respond to. You quote tweeted the tweet. You went out of your way to quote tweet it to say something about it. So obviously you do care. Or else you wouldn't have quote tweeted it. But you see that they don't see that. They don't see the irony of doing that. Now what? No, they they are morons. <laughs> Some guy retweeted him and said, "DSP, you're stupid. Stop complaining. They're a moron." Everybody is, is a fucking moron and not the guy that everyone is making fun of. Does that and says, oh, I don't care about this. This is not reality. Why'd you quote tweet it? You do care. It's, my, it's not my reality. I have my own. Anyway, I'm like Chris Chan. I, I either want a refund or I want something else. What? That, you know, with, I a slave? Coupons for a free meal or something. <laughs> what would they t give you a child? And actually get the meal I fucking paid for. I want <laughs> something else. A car? Thank you. Crazy. You know, I don't want, oh, what the fuck? You know, oh, I want lifetime free whoppers at Burger King. No, I just want what I what's coming to me, what I paid for, what I deserve is a pain. I want what's coming to me. What's sad is that 11 <laughs> days they're not taking it seriously and blowing me off that I had to tweet about it, right? And now will they take it seriously? Who even knows? They probably still won't. I had to tweet about it. Like tweeting is something really severe that you do. It's like you go to the to the cyber crime unit and you say, you guys. You gotta get in contact with Burger King. We have a tweet. This will be an ongoing saga. Seriously. <laughs> It'll be an ongoing saga. It'll ne you know what I mean? It'll never end. <clears throat> See, now here's another... <laughs> it will never end. So okay. Another you it still hasn't, apparently. Since he's beefing with them on Twitter somehow, it, because he uh, he tagged them on Twitter, it wasn't just a random tweet. I just said, 
you paid for shitty food and you got it. No problem here. And this is what some people are actually saying. They're quote Oh, they're defending the fucking corporation. The Burger King. Like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Listen. First of all, this was Why didn't you respond to their tweets instead, you scumbag, when you have a response to them, to these very specific tweets? Why didn't you respond to the tweet? Because you're spineless. Because a bunch of people would just jump on you and fucking ratio you into oblivion. And they would post that, uh, that cool LTG, uh, you should treat yourself now meme. They should post that. And that's gonna get a thousand likes dollar menu sandwich this was not oh the cheap sandwich. You hey big up steve see you around cost? i'm not kidding you this sandwich here costs seven dollars <laughs> seven dollars like 950 this sandwich is not inexpensive this sandwich is more expensive than anything else on the menu at burger king it's the most expensive <laughs> i would have lived i would live for a reality where dsp actually went and responded to all of these people that would be my favorite fucking thing I would make every stream be about that. And just it would just be a Twitter stream of me reading. And at some point I'm gonna adopt text to speech because I hate reading and everything's gonna be much better. And Oh, imagine this. It's just oh you fucking idiot. You can't understand. And then it's just threads and threads of him beefing with just a random anime avatar and cat avatar people on Twitter. Uh, did I see the Elden Ring rage quit? Yeah, we watched this in the beginning of the stream a long time ago. Anywhere else, right? This is not. Oh, you went there. Yeah, you gotta finish pick to speech, please. Please, it's gonna be the biggest, the loudest baller alert ever when you finish pig to speech. This is gonna change the entire game. Calling out baller alert. Got no problems with baller alert. And the people on Kiwi Farms can probably take it and make like deep fakes with him with him saying weird stuff and they're gonna get him canceled <laughs> cheapest thing no i got the most expensive thing on the menu that's number one okay number two that's that was a mild flex i got the most expensive thing at the menu where did you go oh burger king all right sounds good ask for <laughs> sounds good that screwed up to do better they will never do better i just want you guys to understand something why just like you, DSP, just like his business. McDonald's have a bad stigma attached to them. Why do you think? Do you think that the corporate entity of McDonald's wants to be known as the place you go to get the cheapest low-grade food? But no, bro, what the fuck? Everybody knows that that's the truth. They don't present that that's the reality. It's just we're okay with it. Like that. Yet and if you're not okay with it, you just don't go there. I don't go there, except when I do. But that's because uh, Soulmate likes it. Everyone's mind, everyone knows. You go to McDonald's, you spend a few bucks, you get crappy food, who cares? You fill your stomach, you move on. Right? Right? Why are they like that? I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, what's up? John because Valentine. Because no one demands better. No, one's no one demands, demands better from Burger King. We they should have strikes. From this business because we want them to have better value. You know what I'm saying? If you accept mediocrity... You'll forever be and I, I love, I really appreciate the effort in this video to get all the quote retweets and uh, yeah, says this right shit is great. Everything that you get when you buy the food, it says if you have issues, go to this website and complain here. It says right on it, we want your feedback. We want to improve. So I gave them <laughs> no, they're just lying. They're a corporation. They actually don't want your feedback. Your feedback is the last thing they want. They just want you to consume and not bitch about it. I understand people's they don't want your feedback You're not supposed to be expecting gourmet food from a fast food chain i'm not i was just expecting something edible that is not edible it was like i've explained in the original video a week and a half ago now that thing was completely drenched with sauce from top to bottom you could well i don't trust you dsp we need, we need a redo we need a do-over sauce and this was a to-go order they gave me three napkins in the bag for two meals so how am i supposed to eat that without completely covering my body in sauce, you know, I don't even know. <laughs> don't give me this mental picture of DSP covering his body in sauce. So that is, it's like to that's me, a very different kind of a shower video. If you don't ask for improvement, you'll never get it. If you just accept that, if you just say, ah, Burger King's just bad. Well, then Burger King will always be bad. Like literally, what what effort will Burger King ever put into make putting out a better quality product? Get your ass you out ask there and fucking work, if bitch. You say, we accept that you just make crappy food. They're always gonna make crappy food. 
And I feel that's what happens with certain fast food chains like McDonald's. They just kind of like, oh, well, if that's what everyone wants, you know, what are they going to do? So, yeah, I'm sorry, but this is how, this is actually how it's supposed to work with business is you give feedback, the business responds, oh, okay, this is something we screwed up. Let's actively try to fix that. First of all, wow. better for that is he, customer who I don't know who he's telling this to. I don't know who is he telling this to. Problem. Why the root cause of the problem. So because uh, uh, it was his job to do some sort of root cause analysis at the helicopter company, and that's why he's bringing that phrase up after 10 years. We gotta find the, the root cause of the problem with the bad chicken burgers, you guys. I mean, sandwich. We need to go back and say, okay, maybe the recipe is wrong. Maybe we have way too much sauce on the sandwich. Instead <laughs> of having two, three sauces on the sandwich, maybe we should have a, a spice that we bake into the breading of the sandwich to make it taste better so there's less sauce, right? Or maybe you put the sauce on the bun. In a different reality, he actually, they hired him and he fixed Burger King. Instead of just saying, oh, well, we, we ignore it. We, there's no problem here, you know? But again, and saying, oh, it's only a $5 sandwich. You're wrong. It's seven. But even saying, oh, you're wrong. Sandwich, Straight up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Because if you don't demand better, you will never get it. Right? You'll never get it. You have to ask for more in life. You have to. If you have a legit. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is great. This is great. I, I, I love this sound clip. Because if you don't demand better. Fuck, this is so nice. Better, right? You have to ask for more in life. You have, you have to, to ask for more in life. This is it. This is it. We got him. You have to ask for more. <laughs> you have to ask for more in life. You have to. You have, you have to. to. Concern and Please. The tips goal. The members goal. It, he missed the members goal for last month, which really sucks. I was looking forward to that event where some invisible people that don't exist would pick games and then he would not like them. And then he would ask for tips. Concern. Okay. And uh, you never, when life you gives you tips, ask for spend them on pulls. It. It's called constructive criticism. There's a difference between destructive and constructive. Destructive criticism. criticism. Said, oh, it deals more damage. Everything there's terrible. It tastes awful. You know, no constructive criticism. No opportunity to actually improve anything. That but you can not block. But I mean, <laughs> you can block it. Sandwich. The chicken looks disgusting. All right, no, 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 no. We're not getting a, a, a second playthrough through the sandwich. No, fuck it. I don't want to look at it. 10 opportunities for improvement. Let's see this. The 10 opportunities business plan from Phil, a guy with a failed business who only has a job because he physically can't fire himself. 10 opportunities for improvement. 10. And a business should care about that. Not, oh, well, oh, well, big deal, right? Oh, this is only a $5 sandwich. Who cares? What are you talking about? No, that is not how you should go through life. You should ask for something better so that they can actually improve, or else everything around you will just go to shit. If you're lazy, yeah. you never provide constructive criticism. Yeah, you would know. Everything around you will ever improve in your life. <laughs> ever. Green, you can call me a Karen or whatever. Go ahead. You can call him a Karen. But Karen. I've been for like a week and a half. It's been a meme on my stream. It's now been a meme. You can tweet. How has it been a beep? I guess it was. If you talk about something for, for long enough, eventually it becomes a meme. That's how I condition you into liking the, the lurking guy. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. I just kept playing him and you have no choice but to listen to him and be conditioned. And now it's a meme. Now we're lurking and we're stalking when you least expect it. And this one's for all my baby girls. Baller alert. Baller alert. B -b Baller alert. <laughs> it's still going, by the way. Like, it's not slowing down at all. What? What is not slowing down? Are we talking about the tweet? The freaking tweet is blowing up. It's pretty funny. Oh, you know, that was a nice, uh, it was nice, uh, arrogant smirk. Yeah. This, uh, it's, it's blowing up, you guys. It's, it's pretty funny. It's blowing up. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <clears throat> <laughs> it's still going, by the way. Like, it's not slowing down at all. It's not slowing down. <laughs> uh 
Oh god, some people just saying. Oh, hey, Tevin god. is lurking. Oh, so Almighty man. Tevin he is watching my stream right him. now. Oh. <laughs> Baller alert. Oh, and we're, we're done with this video. Uh, I think. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So we saw all the, the quote retweets, all the fucking uh, stroking himself over this tweet, and then we have more, right? Disappointed he couldn't finesse a free sandwich. This is 12th of December, 2021. This went over for like, how, how long? Massive drama arc. <laughs> and then Game Trekker is here today, and he also tipped ten dollars. So that gets hey, that's very nice. That's a nice start. Says, hey, it's a nice positive start. With after the holidays, <laughs> so I want to say if possible, I'd like to see an emoji of an awful Burger King sandwich. Oh, come on! No. And we're back with the sandwich. Let's get the retelling. Really? Now wait a minute. I still don't know if he ate it or not. I get conflicting information all the time. A permanent emoji of this. Yeah. You want to see this pulsating, bleeding, seeping, festering. Okay. No, no, no. This gets right, skipped. Me by contacting the franchisee, the person who owned the franchise where I got that disgusting, unedible sandwich. And after two weeks of ignoring me. Two weeks. Saying, it was previously, what was it? 12 days, 10 days, 11 days. Now it's two weeks. It, two weeks. We're still holding it. We're keep contacting the franchisee. Come on. Sorry, get some friends like, to tell you you suck. Stop. Like, stop it. All you're telling me is you're writing the franchisee. It's obviously the franchisee doesn't care. So what are you going to do for me? Are you going to give me my money back? Maybe give me some coupons? At least something. Do something for the customer. So that the customer Do is something for me. They stopped responding. Please. They just didn't care. They were like, fuck you. They also have a Twitter account. And at the time that I had talked about this publicly and I had actually tweeted out that picture, someone had forwarded that tweet to the, the Burger King Twitter account. And they said, respond to us with the details. So I did. <laughs> but wait, why did they not respond to DSP himself, but somebody who forwarded the tweet to their account? Let me see if this is exactly as he said it in the transcript. Because nowadays, I, am, I, I have to read the actual transcript to actually keep up with the bullshit this guy is saying. So he said publicly, I had actually tweeted out the picture. Someone had forwarded that tweet to the Burger King Twitter account, and they said respond to us with the details. So they didn't bother to respond to Phil, the guy, but to some other person. That is somebody, I, I guess. I did. I responded. Oh, yeah, it was the tweet bot. I remember now it was the tweet bot. Because there's like those tweet bots that retweet DSP's tweets that... Yeah, basically, for people that are banned. So you can see what the guy tweets, so you can laugh at it a little bit, and you can respond to that tweet with the actual thing that you would have said if you didn't get banned, that would have got you banned. Twitter account with all the details, they also never responded. Twitter is very complicated. Twitter doesn't give a fuck. Like, very complicated. Don't, they don't give a fuck. What it is is they saw that I'm a content creator who talked about it publicly and basically embarrassed the fuck out of them. And they realized they just looked bad. <laughs> he embarrassed the fuck out of them. He got ratioed. He got ratioed and got told to get a fucking job. You can get a real fucking job. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. And now it, it's like he embarrassed them. The corporation, he embarrassed them. And now they can't even acknowledge him. That's how embarrassed they are. They're crying in shame. They figured Holy fuck. And he called himself a content creator because that's what he's gonna do. Content creator who talked about it publicly and basically embarrassed the shit out of them. We get nothing out of it because we just look like shit. So they literally just cut their losses and said, fuck it, stop talking to Phil. Big Up's Drunk Jackal for the super I'm chat. A customer. <laughs> Burger King took one look at him and decided he'd had enough fast food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they did it for, uh, for his good. It's for the betterment of Phil. I'm still a customer. I still paid money. So because I'm a content creator, I get ripped off. That's Me! Because, wait, what? Now he made it about being a content creator. I can't even follow up with the bullshit. Funny is that? No. Really? Like, no, this guy, guy is getting, uh, That's he's getting the thrown. Their management, their social media team. To the, to the chaos fucking realm. Shit. They all fucking suck ass. And they don't care about their customers at all. They really don't. 
they'll let a franchisee get away with whatever. And he, he called a couple of separate departments. He called them what? They suck ass. <laughs> and they're all shit. <laughs> departments in Burger King. No accountability. Wow, well, this, this man. This fucking man. And he hasn't even started with the actual show for today. Go to Burger King. That franchise... You, hey, you have you even considered this. The actual stream hasn't even started yet. And we're already in, in peak fill. And they won't do anything to them. They're basically immune from any kind of problem solving because they, the company doesn't give two fucks. Right? And by the way, it's not a big deal. But you would think that it would just be like common sense that a company would be like, okay, someone legitimately got ripped off. Let's just solve the problem quickly and get them out of here. Like literally, at that the first time that I wrote them to say, hey, the sandwich is disgusting. Can you do something for me? If they had just responded back and said, here's a $5 coupon. Go to another Burger King and get a replacement sandwich. I would have been like, satisfied, done. They didn't care. They literally didn't give a fuck. They just want him to just wait for the franchisee, wait for the franchisee. That's not customer service. That says your company doesn't give a crap about your customers. You don't care about the food you're putting out. You don't care about a franchisee acting within the limitations of what your company says they should be doing. You actually don't care. You just keep. That's exactly what they're saying. Rushing the product. Actually, sh they should make a public statement and a guy from Burger King should just come out and say, Dark Side Phil, Phil Burnell, we do not care. Go fuck yourself. Go out and work, bitch. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. I want some big company to roast him like that. Something like that. Somebody that he bitches to. Well, just like Keemstar. Because Keemstar is that guy. He's that guy that you can be just some random guy on Twitter and call him an asshole and trigger him and he's going to make a video about it. It's fucking funny. And, and the, the thing with Keemstar was amazing. It triggered his fucking uh, midlife crisis, basically. And after that incident, everything in his life was the most positive thing ever. He loved his life, his wife, his background became super improved with all these toy boxes and Street Fighter figurines and nonsense. Yeah, it was good. Wait, with a broom, Ugh. instead of actually handling it. <clears throat> Everyone hates so, me. I just think that's hilarious. I love this my is a major life. company rolling in Can't dough. Can't have both. And they just don't. <laughs> rolling in dough, by the way. And then they saw that I had already. <laughs> this is the the same vibes as when he talked about celebrities committing suicide because they were depressed. They were rolling in dough, by the way. Why would they kill themselves? This, you know, what this means that sometimes you have a lot of money and you're still depressed. You hurt their reputation. I can't relate. All my depression comes from lack of money. By talking about it publicly and showing. And when I couldn't cook by myself, when Leanna left. And which publicly, and they felt, well, we, what's the point of even helping Phil out when we're, we're already hurt, right? <laughs> what? Right? <laughs> what? The, the reality has shifted once again. Burger King are not only publicly embarrassed, but hurt. He hurt them in, in his head. He, this is what he did. He fucking hurt Burger King. The actual corporation that doesn't give a shit. They didn't even acknowledge he existed. They gave him like an automatic response. Hey, please let us know. They didn't even text him. They retweeted the bot. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't take a single bite of that. I did not take a single bite of that. Sandwich. Okay. Here we have verification that he did not eat it. It's too disgusting. I Confirmed. It. Not even I a single one. I attempted to touch it. My hand was soaked in salt. So the story is consistent. He has not lied. And I said, I'm not eating. I threw it right the fuck out. I was starving because all I had was fries that day. Sweet. All I had f was fries. <laughs> now, is there more? Please tell me there's not. There is in December, which is hopefully the same shit. I, I swear, I hope it is. It's like six minutes long, right? Yeah, this is the same thing. Okay, okay. Thank fucking God. Okay. Then we have five months ago. I think that that is all for the birthday burger bonanza, whatever that was called. But there is Burger King Ultimate Breakfast lying about cat being at work. Uh, I don't know what what are we going to fill the time with while the actual guy comes on? Hmm. I'm very confused. I've been watching Daniel Larson videos, which I'm, I'm very confused by that guy. He's a very strange individual. Uh, let's take a look at, at, at the dark side 
in how things are going. And on his channel, we can do a quick channel audit. Sounds good. Let's let's do that. Well, he's he's not even here yet. Uh, and I, as a professional, nothing. I'm going to show you why his channel is bad, okay? We're going to start from the top. First, we have a banner that says DSP Gaming, and it's uh, lame. Because it says it has no bullshit, which I'm, I'm calling bullshit on that. Now, he's playing uh, Boss Time, Elden Ring today. That game that he plays and that he rage quit last time. Now, his last... Actually, his last couple of episodes have been very successful. And uh, matter of fact, his whole Elden Ring playthrough, for his standards, it's a blast. And uh, thousands of people are, are enjoying it massively. Uh, nothing interesting, really, though. Oh, let's see the last daily wrap. What happened in the last daily wrap? I want to see what this is about. Good evening, everyone. And, and the channel audit is over, I guess. The, the bottom line is, thus, uh, it sucks. And that's all you need. The daily wrap. DSP. Now listen to the daily fucking rap. February 2022. I welcome you here to the show. Now, Elden Week has now. <laughs> Elden Week. That means yes. Even the Elden <laughs> but it was successful for it him. Is. I don't know if it's gonna result in in anything outside of just some views, currently. But you know, it it did the job to convince the pay pigs that the channel is popping off, while in reality. The truth of the matter is that I don't think so. The marathon of nonstop coverage. No, now. not really. Though there will be more even as early as Tuesday when I get back from my break. Uh, we are going to now alternate between Elden Ring and the many other games that I've been playing. So what I would like to first come say, back from my break to everyone who's been watching like my nonstop coverage of the game for three straight days. 15 <laughs> I love when he says coverage, coverage of the fucking game. Like he, he's in ING or something, IGN. I IGN. Can tell you, there's more ups than downs, and I am really enjoying the game. And you guys are obviously really enjoying the playthrough because the streams are doing well, the the, the videos on YouTube are doing well, everything is doing well. So I'm very <laughs> then why is he? When uh, nothing, no, never mind. Everyone, I'm not gonna nitpick literally everything. You're liking the streams, supporting the streams, whether you're liking the videos on YouTube, leaving comments, supporting via other ways, I really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, what are the comments to this? First of all, I'm sure you want to hear about what I said about comments. today's gameplay. Uh, I tried to beat that damned optional boss for two more hours. Yes. He's called the something knight. I can't even remember what the hell his name is anymore because I don't care. He's so obnoxiously hard. Um, I got close a few times. Oh, yeah. I can't read these comments. They're way too dumb. Pattern, he starts turning into a dragon. And his dragon attacks are almost uncounterable and unavoidable. Uh, what I noticed during my gameplay today you know, being the third straight day that I'm playing the game, is that Elden Ring has input lag on PS5. Now, <laughs> Every game has input lag nowadays for him. Every game. The, the further we go into the years of life, the more lag happens somehow. Now, offline games have lag. Everything has lag. King of Fighters had like 80% damage combos and, and crazy shit like that. He starts inventing a bunch of shit, even if there is lag. That's the whole thing. I'm not trying to argue about everything that he says, but it's just the way he says it that makes me want to argue with him. Software games has input lag. I want to clarify that. Yes, okay. Maybe it does. But... It's just never that much of a problem for people that, you know, play those games. And he's played all those games. <clears throat> oh, it has input if lag. In the modern era, they would have done something to at least reduce it in some Like way. what? And also... Uh, the fact that this is supposed to be the, the best version of the game. PS5 is supposed to have the best graphics. You would expect the best performance. I don't think that's the case. I actually think the PS5 version might have a little bit more input lag than other versions in this case. For example, I just played King of course. 15. Of After course. Of course. All the versions of the game, they found out... PS5 he lost 20 members. Oh, did the coffee guy bounce? Had the most wow. I almost guarantee... This, uh, um, this piqued my interest. Because, man, I started testing it. And when I was testing it live on stream, I would press the dodge button, release the dodge button, take a full step forward, and then my guy would roll. And I was all right. This is this is worthless. This is actually factually worthless. All of this. Oh, I've played games, Soulsborne type, Soulsborne, 
Soulsborn, Dark Souls 4, Bloodborne 2, Sekiro 2, uh, and I'm just reading the transcript. That's all the fucking buzzwords are in here. Everything is here. Okay, let's go four minutes in. I gotta come back when I'm more leveled up and I'm doing more damage and stuff. Okay, he's gonna come so, back again. Went to Stormvale Castle, which is the first legacy dungeon of the game. It's good. I went through all the outskirts, did stuff. Yeah, he dropped a bunch of subs. Into the castle. Members, I guess. He's at 367, and he was going for 400 two days ago when the the goal was a thing. And he almost got him. He got close to him. But they dropped significantly. And is he going to say something in chat? He's not really saying a lot. Good morning, everyone. Let me move over to the laptop, and we can get started. Okay, this is going to take him 10 minutes somehow because it's filled. He needs to set up properly, otherwise the, um, you know, stream is not going to be good. Now, the thing with the, the SOC memberships, when you want to cancel a SOC membership, and we got this allegedly confirmed from allegedly coffee guy. Now, the memberships, you need to cancel yourself. So they're not, they're by, like auto-renewed by default or whatever. So yeah, probably somebody canceled the memberships. Maybe they expired. Maybe they're real. Maybe they're fake. I don't know. I don't have actual proof. I'm just talking shit. It's all kinds of shit I found, okay? Then at the very end of the night, I only had like 10 minutes left. We got to the boss, okay? And his name is Godric. And I'll tell you right now, the boss... Chadrick? It doesn't. It looks like it's a boss that is... Uh, he has insane range, of course. Every boss in this game seems to have insane range. Seems to be a pattern, okay? Um, but it seems like again, if you learn his pattern, you know what can hit you, what can't. You know how to stay out of his range. Looks like you can get behind him often. And if you use summons, which is the new implement implementation of the game, summoning guys to help you in these boss fights. Oh come on, start already, so I don't have to listen to this. Without taking too much damage. You sucker. But I didn't beat him. I only I only tried like three or four times. Not even. I didn't have a lot of time. Okay, but boss fight is buggy. My problem with this boss fight is it's completely buggy and unpopular and the uh this weird body language with the crossing of the arms man every time it, ma it makes an impression on me i don't know why i don't usually notice this unless it's really noticeable and it is in his case it's like very 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 intentional movement i don't know why just looks like that first experience i'm having with this boss first of all he has a phase where he has flames okay i get past them they're nowhere near me. They're there. I'm ran past the flames and I got past it so I could start hitting that. I hit him. I light on fire. Oh, no. How can they do this to Phil? But he's not on fire. So it's not like you hit him when he was on fire. That's why you lit up. I'm past the flame. This would be the equivalent of a big dragon, which there was one. Remember, there was this would dragon. be the equivalent of uh, you starting your stream on time, actually. And I'm waiting for 20 minutes. Past it. This guy, you light on fire anyway. For what? What's the purpose of that? Besides, for the chill, why not? Lazy and not making being a lazy. And fun. Get your ass out there and fucking work, difficult. bitch. And this, this same fucking guy. Oh wow, wow! Did you see this? And this is like super obnoxious at this point. Besides, he picks his ear. Lazy and not making the boss fight more realistic and fun. It's stupid. Watch this! Wow, picks it super aggressively. He went there like it's uh, like there was a boss in there. Then, and pulls it out and, and wipes it immediately in his fucking pants. And I close the gate <laughs> when this happens. Come on, bro. This boss has an ability where he takes his axe and he winds it on his ball head. Ball and a tornado goes around his body. He controls the wind, so it's Stormvale Castle. He goes like this, and when he goes like this, a big tornado blows out of his axe and basically comes at you, and you have to dodge it. And he could do several. He could do like two or three of them in a row, and you have to side dodge. All of them. I think you front roll to them too, but you dodge around. So, <clears throat> I've seen this attack many times. I know exactly what the animation is. So, I have summoned guys. My summoned soldiers are distracting the boss. So, I'm going behind him. I'm sneaking up behind him. I'm going to get some hits from behind. <laughs> what a story, so, Mark. I got to back away because when he does the tornado, the whole thing covers his body. So, I back away. All right, I'm just going to wait for him to toss it at my, my guys. And then, I'll go up and hit him from behind. He goes like this. He's literally not. He's facing away from me. His back is to me. He's facing away from me. He goes like this to throw the tornado at, at my guy, my summon guy. The tornado comes out of his hand backwards. Makes no sense at all. Literally comes out of his hand backwards and hits me from behind. This is the equivalent of someone pulling out a gun, going like this, 
firing the gun and the bullet goes backwards and hits someone behind them. It's the most ludicrous, buggy, shitty thing I've ever <laughs> seen in the boss fight, except for better. It keeps, it keeps being super fucking toxic. In the, the daily wrap, the thing that's supposed to be a positive end of the day, it's literally the end of your shift, and then you get like a, a nice, I don't know how you fucking call it, whatever, like a stand-up or whatever you call it with with your team and they're like oh you guys did a nice job today instead this guy goes oh you guys were fucking trash of chaos is the word <laughs> this today this shift was fucking garbage now go home and feel bad about yourself that was the second worst thing i've ever <laughs> seen in a from software boss fight my god this is in a game that's supposed to be their best game ever Cannot come on dark fadil where are you By the i'm way, begging I'm for you this is gonna ruin the game or anything it's just annoying. This is supposed to be the new game, the best game, right? Everyone's claims it's the best one they've ever put out. The boss fight is unpolished. It's buggy as shit. He's fucking shooting bullets backwards. How, you fucking dumbasses? It's dumb. It pisses me Call off. Call them hateful slurs. Too. Call them some slur. Get away with it. And that's the thing they that would get, get away with it like they fucking... It's like they leaked his bank information. They're gonna fucking get away with it. No, they made a game that had something you didn't like in it. We'll say this what? Hey, Phil is live. Okay, enough uh, enough of this actual worthless bullshit. Oh, right, we got the nice Kid Flim intro. Same guy that made the intro for Super Crazy. And we start out with a burp. So enjoy this. Phil is the biggest thing being discussed on the internet. It's very interesting to me to see the different takes about the game because I've never seen some of the takes that I'm seeing. I feel like up to now, these FromSoft games have been ultra popular within a hyper-focused group of people. And now Elden Ring is the first one to really uh, branch out and have insane amounts of mainstream coverage and or mainstream uh, players playing it who have never really delved into From Software games before. And because of that, that is definitely leading to a lot of new opinions and takes on the game franchise that I did not expect. I hate to say it, but I, typically when it comes to FromSoft, they usually get their butts kissed 99% of the time. And it's, and it's the same topic from the last time. I feel that every they get their butts kissed. Them away to the one side or the other. We'll talk a little bit about this this morning as I'd like to give you guys uh, an updated opinion on the game now that I've played it for 15 hours. Oh no, so you get the daily wrap from yesterday. It's the same thing. It's the same content. Daily wrap from yesterday. Oh, and the day off. I love this. A lengthy one today, but I got a couple things to mention. Um, New month. He didn't do a lot. Now, as you can see, members have gone way down. Before <laughs> my day off, we were at L. 90, and it froze there for about a week. And we basically have uh, no new progress with members that makes at all. Me it froze around 390. Um, I tried as hard as I could to motivate people to become members, and it didn't work. We froze, and we never hit the goal of 400. For the what you meant is you asked for members, and then they didn't come. I tried whatever I could. <laughs> what did you try? You just asked for them. Kind of hard to say if it was I tried before, everything. We have definitely not hit the goal. I don't know. It's kind of annoying that we stagnated like that, but it is what it is. Now, for the month of March, we've dropped a ton of members. You're like, well, what happened? Well, if you don't remember, at the end of January, there was actually a rallying where within the last few days of January, <clears throat> a lot of people became members. And when we hit the goal, that, that locked in for that fun Game Pass marathon that we actually did in February is the reward. But what happened was that rallying of members expired yesterday when I wasn't here. Yeah, 367. He dropped a massive amount. It's like over 20 subs. Right? If anything, perhaps today. We'll yeah, this is live. Coming back to the streams in order to. This is going to be this and then a little bit of Elden Ring and that's going to be it probably. Worry about this. Or maybe more. I don't know. Not a big deal at all. I would expect. Clickbait. March, with all the amount of stuff that we're doing right now. Elden Ring is the major focus, but there will be a variety of games starting this week now. Last week, I know we did Elden Ring three straight days. That is now over with, all right? We're going to alternate, all right, between things such as <clears throat> Horizon Forbidden West. Yes, we're definitely continuing on with that, despite the fact that it seems like it isn't resonating with all of my audience. I want to continue the game. I like it. I think it's quite a good game, uh, and I can't wait for more. So that's continuing. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, which we're actually playing as the lead. Arceus. Right? We're already in the fourth of five. Arceus. Of uh, did some good progress. I don't know why. There's certain really small things about DSP that, that uh, rub me the wrong way. <laughs> Most of uh, how he says things. Late streams and people really enjoy that. So I hope that you guys will join me 
<clears throat> for all of these playthroughs over the course of the early month. There's also tons of new games coming out in March, if you're not aware. Gran Turismo 7, WWE 2K22, uh, the new... Oh, Kirby so exciting. Ghostwire Tokyo. Just among a few off the top of my head, because I know there's actually more than that, too. I mean, yeah, there's some games, but nothing uh, to save the business. Covering. In reality, we need a business saving event. That's really what's going to determine what happens in March. How far I get in the existing games we're playing. So Elden Ring. And your feedback. And Elden Ring. Because the thing <laughs> Elden Ring and chat, which is the worst combination. Enjoying them and you're saying, just keep playing what you're playing. You know, I get the feeling a lot of people, now that I'm not playing Elden Ring every single day, are going to be like, Phil, oh my god, play Elden Ring. Oh yeah, Ring. Dying Light is gone. And then when a game comes out, game is like, gone. You know what? Just don't play the game. Play the ones you're playing. We want to see more advancement in the games you're playing. Why are you going to take on new games now, you know, when you're still juggling so many? And that would be valid reasoning, okay? Um, <clears throat> On the flip side of that, maybe not. Maybe people will be clamoring for new games in March and will want to see the new games and won't care that it's going to now extend the length of other existing games. So the bottom line is that you're just talking and not really saying anything. Uh, I'm sorry for this. See what happens. In reality, I don't know. You didn't how miss long anything. Elden Ring will take me to beat. I don't know how long I'm going to beat it and stuff like that. In addition, if you haven't noticed with Elden Ring, whew, with some of the bosses that I've really stubbornly taken on early when a lot of people have skipped them. And now this is a good kind of, thing. Uh, this is, hey, look at me. I'm so good. If you cut out the boss fights that I got stuck on, arguably, probably six hours of that was the boss fights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it could end up being an insanely long playthrough for me. So, um,. <clears throat> Let's see what happens, but I'm excited. Here's why. New month, right? We're starting fresh. Excitement around the content right now. I can tell you guys, taking a look at this weekend and the Elden Ring. Oh, my God. He's going to stroke himself for the next five minutes. Uh, I'm so much engagement, you guys. You dropped so many likes. I couldn't ask for anything better. Viewership, really up. Like, not even like, oh, a little bit up. Like, significant, huge jump in viewership since I started playing Elden Ring. And that, of course, is going to result in a lot of benefits, including increased engagement, which is very, very high. People are liking the videos. People are leaving comments. People are liking. Who talks videos. like this? Um, <clears throat> who talks like this? And increased course, engagement. Also, Bro, I don't work for you. Skyrocketing. I'm Just here to chill. Why are you dragging me in this company that I'm not a part of? New and they don't pay. In just three days. They just ask for money. I only get 500 in a month. This sucks and I ass. 200 in three days. You see. So welcome to those of you uh, who may be newcomers to the streams and or newcomers to my videos. You may be someone who maybe has been away for a long time. You came back to start watching my Elden Ring coverage. Or you could just be someone who just wants to see Darkside Phil play Elden Ring and you haven't really been around before now. Welcome, welcome. Remember, when you subscribe, you can talk in the chat. It's a major reason why most people subscribe is they want to be able to talk on the stream. Okay? So they don't so talk in the chat. No, they don't talk in the fucking chat. Around here, and as you can see, the streams work a lot nicer. They don't. We don't have that crappy spam element of trolls coming in here because of the sub only mode. So. <laughs> because Black okay. Matrix Super Chat. I wish uh, his chat would tell him to gas Skyrim. Skyrim needs to go away. All right, let's forever. Schedule. It's it's the worst. It's the worst fucking DSP thing. And I, I I don't even like watch him play Skyrim. But whenever I've seen him, it's always been bad. And he fell asleep to it once. If like Capcom, <clears throat> definitely is a company that's had highs and lows. Oh my God, Capcom discussion. Okay, I'm I'm tuning out for this. I'm clocking out. I'll be right back. They're I like an all time high. I feel like when it comes to their fighting games division, I actually don't think they could be much lower besides the insane drought of fighting games that they had in the early to mid 2000s. Um, leading up to the release of Street Fighter Four, which reinvigorated everything. I think they're basically the second worst position right now than they've ever been, and an insane decision that they have made in the last 24 hours well i guess it was a little over 24 hours now <clears throat> excuse me in regards to their competitive scene which in reality is the only major scene they have when it comes to street fighter right now because street fighter is being has been played less and less by casual audiences over the last several years um to the point where really it's the competitive competitive scene keeping street fighter alive and now they want to shoot themselves in the foot over that too <clears throat> so we'll talk about that my God, I really can't. I seriously like I'm shocked. and can't believe the news. All right, so let's get to it. First of all, let's talk about the schedule this week. 
and let's go schedule segment schedule for some of you this is great news you're like oh good it's not just elden ring non-stop anymore i really don't like elden ring that much for others <clears throat> for others it's basically um well, I really like Elden Ring, but I understand that Phil has to go back to his variety formula, okay? As I've said many, many times, uh, you can please some of the people all the time, all some of the time. You can't please everyone all this the time. This is the, the most worn out yeah, DSP no quote do, in life. It's so game. fucking bad, and it's so fucking yeah, lame. I really enjoyed playing Somebody. Elden this guy tries nothing. He tries yeah, nothing to please anybody. People have been giving him criticisms and making YouTube channels based around giving him fucking criticism for the last 10 years, even over or more than that. And now he turns around and being like, well, I can't please everybody. And I feel like we were missing You out. please like five people. They just happen to give you a lot of fucking money. So you think you please a lot more. Some people were actually trying. Can't even please his wife. Talk with me and have a fun conversation. And we couldn't do it. The game is so attention demanding because of its hyper difficulty level, as all from software games are, you can't just casually play Elden Ring and expect to succeed and survive. I'd be like, oh, I start to answer a question and immediately a million enemies sneak attack me. Oh, 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 oh. And then when I'm done surviving, what? I'm like, oh, what were we saying? Okay. So you <laughs> yeah, you couldn't please panda oh, factually. That's facts. And that's how the game is. Um, you the shit about cat is just speculation, but he couldn't please panda. Has to be about the game. Ack, ack, ack. All right. So that being said, I am happy that the variety is returning. Okay. But again, I apologize to those of you who are absolutely loving the Elden Ring coverage and want more. There will be Elden Ring every other day as a major stream. There will still be Elden Ring major progress. Okay, over the course of the week. But I can't just be here playing Elden Ring nonstop, especially when I had other ongoing playthroughs like Horizon. That I was very much enjoying, and yes, there was an audience for Horizon, even though it wasn't getting, you know, 400, 500, 600, 700 viewers a stream like Elden Ring is getting. Um, Horizon definitely had an audience, and it was a good audience of interactive people who were enjoying the game and wanted to have a fun time with me. A see? good audience of interactive people. Interactive so, people. Let's talk. Is he listening to what he's saying? Okay. It's Elden Ring. Interactive yeah. people. I did want to do a major stream. Everybody is an NPC exactly. to Kim, man. What the fuck? The is with this game is that it is ultra challenging. It's fun. Um, does it have shortcomings? Yes. We'll talk about some of those on the free stream today because I feel like the game is being overly defended by people as usual. This is not something new. This is something par for the course for FromSoft games where anyone who throws any criticism at a FromSoft game gets lambasted by the hardcore fans. Oh, how dare you? Blah, blah, blah. Get good and blah, blah, blah. But we'll talk about that this morning. Okay. <clears throat> um, but I wanted to play more of it. You know, we were we ended Sunday night's late stream at a really critical point. We're in a boss fight, a good boss fight. Um, and more, you know, we're at the end of a, a major dungeon. I'm curious to see what happens when you beat this dungeon. Does the game open up any further? What happens? I don't know. And I want to see. You know, we're right there. I want to go back and I want. Oh, and let's. Oh, I don't want to nice. hold off several days before we get back to Elden Ring with the way that we ended it. Okay. So it is a major stream. Yeah, today I'm not going to have his chat on the screen, but this is not a big deal. Hope you guys are excited for three I say so. plus hours of Elden Ring progress. Yes, we're going to beat that boss. Yes, we may go back and explore more of the castle. There's at least one to two other ways I didn't go yet in the castle. I don't know if there's anything useful there or not. I'm hoping to gain a few levels today. I really want to start using this golden halberd that I got from killing the tree sentinel. I get the feeling that most people finally like kill the tree sentinel and just move on. But I like, damn, that weapon looks cool. It's a holy weapon. It's a weapon that likely is going to change. Why isn't this the last segment of the stream? Of the pre-stream? So he can talk about the game and then start playing the game. But now we're just going to talk about his day off. Which I'm very excited to hear. Don't get me wrong. Because Truck Driver 1. For the sub. I'm excited for I hope you guys are too. Elden Ring. Continuing on today. Elden Ring. Um, I'm going to grow to get irritated by hearing Elden Ring. We are in... The fourth area of the game. We've been there for a few hours. We're exploring. We're catching new Pokemon. We actually got a new ability to scale cliffs now, um, which is fun. And some of the Pokemon are quite high level and challenging. <clears throat> so I'm enjoying myself. And as usual, progressing with the story. And uh, we're going to see what happens tonight. Those streams are way more interactive. If you're here to chill and have a good yeah. time. Yeah, which means it's boring. Come back to yeah, it is Pokemon actually super boring. Arceus. Okay. And uh, I, I wonder if the paying for a Pokemon is still the scam. I think it's still going on. Horizon Forbidden West. 
Yes, tomorrow is Horizon. Yeah. Horizon. For those who've been waiting almost a full Super week. Super excited. For this game to return, it is returning as of tomorrow. Now, I know people are not loving the game overall on my streams. Like I said, attendance has been quite low when I play Horizon. And it's funny because the people that watch it are like, okay, it's not a bad game. It's not, it's not that the but game... But it's like the first game. Watch. Say it's, it's like the first game. game. It's not resonating with my particular audience. I do feel that my audience either is looking for pure narrative-based games. You know what I'm saying? Like games that are kind of choose-your-own-adventure style so I could commentate over them constantly. Or they're looking for games that are a lot of action, in which case there's a lot of opportunity for me to fail and stuff like that. Or maybe like a late night chill stream. Excuse me. In fact, I would. Excuse me. You're not excused. Might actually do. You're not excused. As a late. You don't get to do this. Then say excuse me. Come on. The game is incredibly long. For those who don't know, this game is really significantly long. Oh, it's gonna now, get canceled. He's not gonna finish this. We're we're getting into the era of DSP where he's simply just not gonna finish games anymore. More side content, and then when I noticed that my audience was basically dwindling. And people were kind of like, man, it's not that good for a viewing uh, uh, experience. I basically decided that I would do less side content and kind of focus more on the story. And if you haven't noticed, it hasn't really affected the playthrough that much. I think for about a stream and a half. Yeah, just drop it, it to easy, easy, go through the game, finish it, and that's it. I did a challenging Clock out. Uh, challenge. But outside of that, <clears throat> basically, um, I kind of focused on the story. And actually, the game was quite interesting. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sparking. That may just be how I approach it. And some people may be disappointed with that. They may be like, oh, you're not just going to do a full playthrough where you do all the side content and everything like sometimes you do. Well, listen, there's a couple things going on. Number one, there's not a big audience for this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would be one thing if there was an audience for it and saying, hey, please keep doing all this. But there's just doesn't seem to be. It seems like for whatever reason, it is a much smaller group of people who are interested in Horizon compared to the other games that I'm playing. I mean... Even Skyrim is getting a better audience than Horizon. That's a 10-year-old game. You yeah, but it's saying? Skyrim. Come on, it's like a comfort game. Beating out a brand new release. In DSP's chat, they love, like, uh, comfort I shit. About it. I don't think it's the game. I just think it may be, for whatever reason, the kind of people that have latched onto my content aren't the kind of people who really enjoy this more chill-style game. You see? And again... Yeah, I thanks. You, you, you didn't say sorry about this one, huh? Except this snort is not worthy of an apology. And the game's too long to do that. If I made Horizon a late night chill stream and we only played it maybe two, three times a week, like four, four to six hours of progress, we wouldn't beat this game for two to three months. That's how long it is. So I don't want to have a game that's inevitably going on and on and on and never going to finish, you see? So we have to play it as a daytime stream. <clears throat> okay. We so, simply fucking have to. On. Yeah, man. Horizon, just, I don't know, man. Tomorrow. Just play whatever you want to what play. Happens jump back into it for the story that, for that is like that, okay? it's just a good idea right, play whatever skyrim you feel like playing also known as skyrim after dark uh, but no we have to run a business running a business is so annoying why can't we just chill and interact why can't i just chill when i watch dsp why do i have to run a business return a friday night fight yes old school street fighter is returning here to the stream starting this friday night i know it's been gone for about three weeks if you remember we took a break because there were so many new releases coming out every Friday that I was playing those. Plus, okay, so uh, the weekly boring fighting game stream. <laughs> when he's going to complain about lag. But it will return this coming Friday night, okay? And so, it'll be balanced just like that. At one day you'll see Elden Ring. One day you'll see Horizon. And then at night, one day you'll see Pokemon. One day you'll see Skyrim. There'll be some Street Fighter thrown in there. That's the coming week. Now, the first major new release. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> fucking nice major new release. this was worthy of an excuse but he always leans into the microphone which makes it seem intentional it's actually the giant dashboard advertisement right now on playstation 5 is gran turismo 7 so they're now starting to hype it up it's less than a week away it comes out march 7 okay um am i interested in it yes and no i'm interested in it because solely it's a playstation 5 major release it's a game that probably on the ps5 is going to look absolutely stunning Oh, so first of all, the graphics are great. I, I, I would love to see a compilation of that. Please, somebody made a, make an edit of that. Of all the first of all, the the graphics are great. It's it's. And he's gonna be bad at Gran Turismo because he's terrible at driving cars. He's so bad. Uh, at the same time, I'm not a car guy. You know that I, I'm not into cars. His Forza gameplay was just like he was driving off the road, crashing into stuff, looking at chat. It was like a drunk guy. It was literally drunk driving. About the cars. You saw me play uh, Forza Horizon uh, 5. 
Forbidden West. Ball, right? And I really Forbidden don't really think about the cars or nothing. I just like driving around and having a good time with you guys. So it could be good. It could end up being boring. Now here's the thing. I'm Forza the Horizon if Forbidden if Ring. If someone of Dark Souls 2. I was actually going to skip it. And then a fan contacted me last week and said, Phil, if I were to donate the game to you, would you play it? And of course, and let's give Phil a new game. Long term, But yeah, if you donated it, I would definitely add it into my streams. So we give it a shot and see what it's like. So if this person follows through. Yeah, it's going to be blurry anyways. Then yes, we'll try it's going to be blurry. Because this is the new meme. This is the meme that the DSP stream quality is trash. It's like it rolls off the tongue. I don't even want to say that. <laughs> this is the new meme. The DSP stream is terrible quality. Anyway, if it is donated by this viewer as they said they would, then we will check out GT7 or Gran Turismo 7. If not, no no big deal. We're going to be so heavily into the games I'm playing. It's not going to be a big deal. Trust me, no one's going to be disappointed that I'm not playing GT7. And oh, I'm so emotionally crushed that Phil will not play a car sim game that he never plays, right? <laughs> So, <laughs> he, he gave you like a, a, a Jimmy Fallon fake laugh. He wasn't even trying. That I'm very interested in playing in March is WWE, which comes out on the 11th? 11th. So that's about, you know, a week to week. Of course. He, he hasn't been watching WWE. But when he starts discussing it, some people are just interested. Uh, you're going to notice. He's been following it. WWE game on a, one, a yearly basis, and there hasn't been one in so long. He's looking at his phone for some reason, looking yeah, back up at the camera. So very long, what are you looking at? A lot of people are checking tips. Let me try the new one out and actually kind of review it and let, let everyone know if it's good or not. Um, well, this one basically has a lot of new features. There's like, a, what isn't it a? There's a GM mode or a universe mode. People are seeing, gee, what if you simmed your own universe? What would it be like? Yeah, that was a yeah. thing before for a long before, time. I mean, the real for a long time. Comes to me doing WWE stuff. Did he say WWE <laughs> champions? These silly campaign modes that they add to these games. No, he couldn't. Before, no, he didn't. He would never games. say it. We haven't done that now in many years because the games either haven't worked or just haven't existed, right? I used to do what do you mean many years? They skipped just one. Just one was bad. It was like actually really bad. This was really epic content that I used to put out. Many years. My new format. He's acting like the last game he played was uh, Here Comes the Pain. Do it, you know. It just it hasn't worked because the games have fallen apart. Um, and now we finally got a new one coming out this month. So am I excited for it? Yeah, I'm curious to see what they've done with it. I just don't know if it's going to end up being something that long term is going to be something I'll do now or maybe over time. I'll play it from time to time and do fantasy matches and stuff like that. But it may be something that's just kind of a silly thing every once in a while we do. Um, it's a silly thing. What I do hope is that the game does actually work well. <laughs> and, and, and It's like he's going to cheat on his wife. So it's a silly thing every once in a while we're going to do it. Because he's going to play with female wrestlers. That's not allowed. Fantasy sims and then it's like dead. And no one ever, you know, you never touch it. He needs to accidentally not record it for his stream. So Cat doesn't get to see it. She's going to be super mad. Month and I have no idea if I'm playing. For example, this Final Fantasy... Strangers of Come on, Cat. It's just a thing we do every once in a while. Hybrid cluster mess. I don't. I still don't even know what the game is. I played the the early beta or whatever it was. I thought that the game. Uh, big was black made for the, the super chat. Terrible. Imagine caring about WWE in 2022 when no, AEW sure. exists. How it's gonna pan out? Yeah, WWE. They've been, they've been doing the the Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Um, I don't know wh why they keep doing this. And near the very end of the month, on the same day. Kirby in the Forgotten Land, as well as Ghostwire. But I don't watch wrestling. On March 25th. I wouldn't it's know. I just see it on social media. Giant end of the month release marathon of stuff. So here's the thing. This month could either be jam-packed with new stuff or not at all. I could play Gran Turismo 7. I might not. I, I would say I what? try WWE 2K no matter what. That's definitely a one that I'm going to check out, okay? <clears throat> but outside of that... <laughs> this um, podcast you know, sucks. Paradise is a, is a maybe. This podcast is right? so bad. So, there will be ample time, because I know some people are concerned, like, Phil, you're already playing so many games, right? You're playing four right now. Of course, Skyrim could always go on hold and come back later. But you're still playing three new releases. What's going to happen? How are you going to juggle these new releases when you're already juggling three? You're, you're right. It's a major concern, especially because it looks like Elden Ring and Horizon are incredibly lengthy games. But it's looking to me <clears throat> like, number one, I might beat Pokemon soon, within like a week to a week and a half, as long as I'm playing it every other night. I might actually complete Pokemon sooner rather than later. But in addition to that, um, 
it looks like there's not that much going on outside of WWE until maybe the end of the month, you see? I might skip Strangers of Paradise, I'm not sure. And if I do, then we can focus on these games all month until the hot new releases come at the very tail end of, of March. So, so let's see. <clears throat> all right, let's see how it goes and go from there. But it's going to be a fun month regardless, okay? Now let's talk. Let's <laughs> yeah, he's just talking to himself in third let's person. Talk about my day off yesterday. Oh, yes. Like to yes. Phil's day off. Spend money on pools and dumb shit. <laughs> Might go out with off. my bitch wife, cat. So, <laughs> yesterday. We should have got a clown mode for this. Why didn't we get a clown mode? First time in weeks, the stars aligned. And basically, it was a week where, like, my wife and I could actually go out and do some stuff together which we also spend time. money on so pulls and dumb shit to get some so it was a good day off out and we were we had an appointment we had to go to actually in the afternoon as well so it was just like we got to go out and do stuff for the first time it's not like we stayed home that's a uh, marriage there. counseling did some fun stuff out together um so it was great except for the fact that we had torrential downpours the heaviest precipitation we've had in in like a long time oh no flooding around here no. Well, it wasn't the worst, but at the very same time, we Cuck were getting life. soaked all day. Even with an umbrella and everything, it was still pouring rain all day long. And there was flooding all I over the place. Life. There were certain... I'm not talking like, oh, you went on a side road and it was something. <laughs> there was flooding. Water go around. <laughs> major roads were actually... Wow. Flooded. You had to try to drive through... This is the apocalypse. ...flooded areas. Um, It was pretty crazy. Uh, but it was fun. Hey, right, somebody we dropped the uh, fifty bucks. Went to the pet David store. Miscavige, uh, who is uh. We're looking to adopt a hey, wait, cat. what? But it was funny because at this local pet store, they have rescue cats. These aren't cats that are there for you know. It's not like the old days where you go to a pet store and you buy a pet. You go there and they're there and you rescue the, the cat. These are all rescue cats that usually have been surrendered by other owners or even found in the wild. So there's a large area, large pen area for cats, and there is a um. A big house, a cat house that looks like a giant pineapple, okay? And we see there's a kitty, cute kitty, sitting at the entrance of the pineapple <laughs> with his claws and legs sticking out. Like That's lot, retarded. Just like this on his side, just laying like this. Now, Jasper lays like this all the time, too. So oh, it's bro. Be a common way. To what is happening? Them. What? Must be comfortable for them, okay? So he's looking super cute. And a guy called down from the rafters sent him a, a dollar super chat and he's gonna get deleted. Right? Where could these cats be? And all of a sudden, the cat says, wait a minute, there's an extra leg. Huh? What? Looking, his hands and feet are aligned like this, but there's another foot. So there's three feet. Like, wait a minute. Unless that cat has an extra leg, something's going on here. And then we start looking closely and we can see there's an eyeball peeking from over the shoulder of that kitty peeking out we're like you gotta be kidding me there's three cats all crammed into this this small pineapple oh it like, was a, a third cat side with their limbs are all like rough <laughs> i i hate super him cute. i hate this story up, it's like explaining a meme it's like a grandpa explaining a meme. They didn't want to come out because the other two were more shy cats. And There's this cool. picture of a, of a guy named Drake, and he's showing something that he doesn't like, and then he shows something that he likes. <laughs> um, outside of that, it wasn't a super eventful day. I don't have much to talk about. However, the whole COVID thing. What? Most of you probably COVID has become a part of your normal lives at this point, right? Let's be honest here. Most of you probably don't know <laughs> the fact that Life changed because of COVID, and we've all been Bro! Hopefully all of you out there have been vaccinated. Hell! Can imagine now we're dying of COVID. You have a legit medical reason to. Um, so it's basically kind of becoming a point of our, a part of our lives now. It's not really pandemic anymore. It's feeling more endemic every day. Like, it's just something normal we've accepted. Big ups, Black Mage, for Super Chat. Tyrone had to pay for another fetus to lead us. Finally! <laughs> He's a magician, dude. In the state of Washington. We are one of, like, the three... He's a wizard. States we never lifted our mask restrictions or any of our restrictions. Like, you needed to show you were vaccinated to get inside of a fucking building. You always had to wear a mask everywhere. No exceptions. Finally, in the middle of this month, I think it's like March 12th, it was announced yesterday, no more masks. We're getting rid of masks, finally. Finally. For in real? States in the United States, because we have, you know, uh, a country that's comprised of many separate different states that all govern each other differently. The vast majority of states 
have not had mask mandates or requirements in like a ridiculously long time. We were one of the holdouts. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's kind of weird that the rest of the country collectively said enough is enough of this bullshit. You know, the mask. Bro, DSP definitely doesn't wear a fucking mask. Yeah. You can't possibly wear a mask because it's it's hot and you can't breathe and it's stinky and he's going to get a mouth infection. Like he can't wear a mask. Like Come on. Very get real. Our governor. All right. Has done some of the weirdest things Arnold? in government Schwartz during Bernal. COVID. He claimed to follow the science of COVID, and that's why he's making mandates and demands, and he's closing businesses and opening businesses. This is the political and segment, by the way. Pay attention. Then all of a sudden, Get educated. One of our neighbors or one of a major other liberal states out here decides to do something. He just goes right in line with them, no matter what, regardless of the science. So he'll literally say, "Okay." Our mask mandate is still in place because our numbers aren't down enough at the hospitals and we haven't freed up enough hospital beds in order to really take off the masks. And then we get news, oh, California and Oregon, our, our neighboring states that are liberal here, are going to lift their mask mandates on March 12th. He says, we're list lifting our mask mandate on March 12th. He's basically a terrible politician. He really is. He's one of those guys that like literally changes his mind on stuff just because everyone else around him does. He's a pe peer pressure guy. Does he have a name? He folds, and then people ask him, well, where's your evidence for the things you did do in the past? And he has no evidence. Yo, DSP! He claims he's following the science, but he never provided the science to show anything. Yo! You know, last time I checked... Show me your phone! I'm fully for vaccinations. I'm fully for taking precautions to make sure COVID... Massive happen. projection. What the fuck was that? There hasn't been a lick of evidence provided by our governor. Wow. That us having these crazy... There's no proof of what he's done in the past, but he says everything is debunked. Who is this guy? Like it was Where is Waldo? With no evidence. Does he have a name though? Are you gonna name drop him? Said, no, it's I just our governor. Going away, considering the rest of the fucking country didn't wear them this long, and we are triple vaxxed. You know, hopefully everything stays the same and we're all right. You know, we'll see. I guess. But anyway, that's just some a little little thing neither here nor there. Last night we had a really good dinner. Um, we got sushi, and we got. A Japanese curry with chicken katsu. And we tried different kinds of sushi we never had before. Um, this is, by the way, this is our one meal out a week. Every other day we're at home cooking or doing. We are poor, by the way. Poor, 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 broke, broke, broke. We can't afford to eat out a lot. We get, once a week we get to eat. Out. So we ended up getting this one sushi that was. Tuna, she is so poor, you guys. Avocado. Get your ass out there and, and fucking work, it, bitch. It was, it was a very traditional looking sushi, but it tasted great. I was like, wow, that's a really interesting combination of flavors. Absolutely delicious. And another one we had was the weirdest thing I've never seen. I I, I couldn't believe it. They called it sushi. So what it was was a giant... <laughs> yeah, Chad is dropping a major X for this. They don't believe. <laughs> they think he gets the baller alert instead. But then there was another kind of fish plus crab. And then it was wrapped... And then it was tempura fried. So it was deep fried tempura sh sushi. Can you even call it sushi if it's fried? It was the weirdest thing. It but they called it sushi. It doesn't matter what you call it. They give it the name sushi, and you eat it. But it was good. It was Didn't qualify. Awesome. Didn't pass the sushi check. <laughs> and it was delicious. So it was good. And of course, we like Japanese curry. We actually got turned on to Japanese curry from our own homemade version. Cat for years has been making God, the cat. thumb for cat what a heavy <laughs> thumb potatoes carrots it's a very enthusiastic because she was cooking a curry sauce with uh over rice over jasmine rice and now you know we found places around here that actually i need to put disgusting food in the mouths of my family spice, man. but also add other things like kats, chicken katsu and stuff like that for those who don't know chicken katsu is a a pounded breaded fried chicken piece that's chopped into strips and added into japanese dishes so we had this like wow this is really good it was a great place. We were actually very pleased. We found a good place because we hadn't. What's up, Moon Rose? There is a sushi place near us that we like, but they're closed on Mondays. So since we've been having Mondays off for a while now, we can never go get sushi. We we finally tried a different place and it was quite good. So, um, so anyway, it was good. Awesome. Uh, that was our day off. Not much to talk about there. Not much at length to really cover. Okay. Now let's move on and let's talk. By the way, I see co big contributions have already come in. Big contributions. Yeah, he got a, a 50 bomb from David Miscavige, who happens to be the head of Scientology. Thank you. The church cult of Scientology. But now he's going to act broke. He's going to be broke for the rest of this uh, pre-stream. So you don't, if you tune in now, you don't get to know.
making insane amounts of money. Let's like, talk about Elden Ring. Rotten, Three days way in, too my much friends, fucking okay? money for just yes, playing I video use games kind of money. I can use chopsticks. Not <laughs> big ups, Hood Hustler, for the five dollars. Uh, Grug will run the state with national socialism. Okay. Thanks for the efforts of Bernie Gores in so Ukraine, and bo both Elden will Elden create Elden Gautopia. This is phenomenal. After getting my but where is where is Gautopia actually gonna be on the map? And we did. Where is it gonna be on the map? Stormvale Castle. I wonder who's gonna give Gautopia actual land. Where they're set past to go. Uh, the gated community in Renton, that where he lives. That has to be Gautopia. Optional exploration. I actually really enjoyed exploring Stormvale Castle. Really, I did. I thought that it was a good time. Um. I wonder who's gonna be on the. I can't wait actually to play. Like uh. I think that the game in this regard. This dungeon was in the mind. parliament. If there's more dungeons, How is it called? Be good. I like the dungeon crawl. <laughs> Epstein <laughs> Island? No. <laughs> Come on, but that is free now. That is probably vacant right yeah, now. So the boss fights, they could give it a, a shot. A or where one they, one they one did one a one fire one festival. Saying that he's just too tall. Okay, let's listen to him ramble a little bit. Little check of the game. For me, Instead of me rambling. Like Murray, I'm looking at his attacks and everything. I'm like, okay, he broadcast that attack. He broadcast this. But now attack. we're talking about fucking Elden Ring. Come on, I would rather actually talk about Epstein instead and how he did not Minecraft himself. You know, is new. It's the hottest new game. Everyone's kissing its butt. But the funny part about this now, okay, the funny part about these discussions is that unlike previous games from From Software that have come out. This game actually is being criticized, and I actually feel, in some cases, completely unfairly. But in some cases, I feel Elden Ring actually is getting true criticism for the first time in many times or many years because usually it's such a set amount of of super hardcore fans and or IE fanboys that will always he ha he hates fanboys of everything. Bad. The game is playing is intended get good because right. uh, he can't fit into any community and they don't like him, so they're fanboys and they suck. A boss like Murgit, for example, because he calls out all the bullshit and he keeps it real. That's why no no one really wants to associate themselves with him. projectiles, but also in the middle of a real Phil, real life Dumas. <laughs> That's who he is. Okay, he may be He's a dumbass in real life. Usually it's one or two attacks, and he's open right after. His second form's a little bit more challenging, but not as much more challenging as the original because he has this big plummeting slam attack. You can easily dodge it. You get a bunch of free hits after it. So you're looking at it and you're like, all right, on paper, this guy shouldn't even be tough. Right? Really? So why is everyone having so many problems with this fucking guy? Well, there's two reasons. He's tough. Number one is because a lot of people playing Elden Ring have never played a FromSoft game before. They saw... The overwhelming amount of nine out of ten and ten out of ten reviews for this game, and said, "Yeah, well, because this is supposed to be a new game. This is Dark Souls Four, after all. It's not Bloodborne Two. This is a new game, so this should be a great opportunity for me to jump into the franchise and just start learning it." Wrong. As I stated last pre-stream podcast, what is wrong? The Elden Ring. What is kind of the culmination and amalgamation of everything that from software that's what the before. i've seen it's those tweets too dsp all the previous stuff they've done you play yeah them. i've seen those same tweets that said this skill up said this enjoy it more fucking i ign said this everybody said this it's the culmination of what they've done because they've done a lot of stuff like this in the past and this one is better okay so i actually feel like this boss is kind of the checkpoint where it's like if you're an outsider either you're really gonna learn and, and understand what this franchise is about, or you're just going to say, fuck this game, I can't do it, and quit. You know? And a lot of people have. Over this weekend, they got to merge it, and they're like, fuck this, I'm not playing it no more. And they quit. Okay? <laughs> yeah, it's like Skyrim, but Dark Souls. Because it's open world. That being said, you can go anywhere, really, do anything. The second reason that I feel... In Romance uh, Maidens. ...is not the boss, it's the game. This game still... Now, let's let's... Hold on. Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2. The transcript for this is going to be wild. Sekiro. Wild transcript. I'm going to have a massive amount of Dark fun Souls reading 2. it. Dark Souls 2. Scott I'm Lord never going to be watching this ever again, so okay. it's it's all right. So technically, there's been eight versions of this game, although you can argue the Demon Souls remake... Unless he says the N-word again. And the remakes aren't always fully from soft. Then I'm probably going to react to it again. Original games. There's been In a couple of years. From soft. This would be yeah, remember when DSP was talking about Dark Souls and then just dropped Seven. the N-bomb out of nowhere? There's still 
massive input delay. There is no disputing it. There is no defending it. It's been there tough. is massive input delay. No, it's not wind up of your weapon. No, it's not. You have to release the button to get the roll. There is massive input delay, period. It is innately designed into the game franchise. There's no more defending this and saying, oh, it's... It. No. It exists and it sucks. All right? It's put into the game to add more difficulty. <laughs> but it makes no fucking sense. The, if, if this were to make logical sense, okay? I don't even know if, if he's wrong about this. On you, if you're heavier... Then he might be right, but he looks like an asshole. Your character should roll less reactively. Oh, you press the button, but because I'm wearing 47 pounds of fucking heavy steel armor, it takes me a little longer to roll. Okay? But this game is just like, you could be naked, and you press dodge, and your guy waits a half His second. whole chat is saying that they're not having any yeah. issues with it. I can only attest to the PS5 version of the game. I have live tested this on stream and proven to the audience that it exists. Some people are so fucking fanboyish. They will still say that I'm lying. I tested it on fucking stream in front of you all. It's indisputable evidence that there is input delay that makes the game harder to play, but you're still defending the game franchise. Stop it. I mean it. You have to, at some point, you have to stop being a fucking ball sucker. <laughs> the game is good. Being a ball sucker. It's even great. How do you think but you're going to change somebody's mind by, by calling them a ball sucker? Does have How does this work? You fucking out. ball suckers. The problem is people have been so used to this franchise having said shortcomings and limitations and artificial difficulty things implemented in it that some people just cannot accept that the franchise could be better. And the problem with that is, as I've said many times over the year, if you don't demand better, if you don't criticize and ask for better than what you get, you will just keep getting the same thing. Oh my god, he's gonna transition into Burger King. Right now, FromSoft is... Is he gonna talk about Burger King? Please do it. Because, because these things have always been part of the franchise. Input delay, input queuing. Look, okay, I'm gonna roll. Oops, my roll came out late. I get hit. Now I get up off the ground. Now I roll. What the fuck is that? In real life. <laughs> In real life? You're going to jump. You go to j jump. Someone knocks you over. As soon as you get up, do you then automatically have to jump? No. That's asinine. That's stupid. You would die in real life. You can argue, oh, it's part of the game. Real life. It's a stupid part of the game. Is there input delay in real life? All right. We have <laughs> other games, such as Neo. He changed my mind. I believe him now. Delay, but don't I have input delay. They don't have input cues. And the games play so much more. How can I explain it? Like, it's almost a breast of fresh air. Okay? A like, breast of fresh air? And something's coming, and you press the button, and you dodge it perfectly. I'm just being an asshole. Wow, my character reacted. I mispronounced basically everything. Holy fuck. Who would have thought that that's what should happen in a video game? If you only play FromSoft, you never would expect that. Right? You wouldn't. You never expect that that's what's supposed to happen. Because in this game, it's like you're fucking playing in molasses, in a vat of water, locked inside of your grandmother's closet, buried inside of... <laughs> you are inside of the yard, closet. With 25 boulders sitting on top of your fucking head. That Shout out to Mundane Matt. Time, especially when you're the boulders. in the combat of a hard boss fight. And Dude, I missed a fucking super chat. I'm sorry, you, you guys. Can't. I'm having struggles. I'm fighting Crucible. Okay, I got it. I know he's going to do that tail whip. And I have to completely predict and do the roll early to get the roll to go through the tail whip because it fucking won't come out when I press the button. It comes out too late to actually see the hit and then press the button. I have to press it early and guess. And that's not good. Guessing is not good gameplay. It's just not. You should be able to react to everything. But your business is basically guessing. Guess. That's all you get. Sadly, how Elden Ring is being played right now is I memorized the pattern and then I guess they're going to do that move rather than, oh, I saw it. I'm going to shout you out, okay. out, guys, in a second. So, I understand that there are going to be people who are going to say things that are valid. Like, well, this is there to prevent role spamming. This is there to prevent this and that. I get it. I totally understand what you're saying. Doesn't justify the fact that we're seven games in and the game still plays like fucking delayed slow-mo bullshit. And if you're, again, if you're fighting a boss like Murgit, I see his moves. I know what his moves are. I, he's telegraphing them. He's going for that uppercut with the cane. Roll. Nope, hit. Why? I pressed roll. 
I can't I press see roll. Right I, press the I was blocking. Why am I getting hit? This is the same guy from like 15 years ago. It's exactly the same guy. Why punish the it's like you put him in a time machine. That you could have improved. <laughs> it's just dumb. I, I really feel like they need to improve it. That's something they've never bothered with. Holy they shit. feel like it's okay. It's okay to have it because everyone keeps buying our game. So because everyone buys your games, never actually improve them, huh? <laughs> really? But that's the price. It seems like that's the mentality. Rockstar does it. Hey, everyone keeps spending money on GTA Online, so why should we make other games? Just keep making GTA Online. That's what people want, right? It just, it just seems. To yeah, be they killed Red Dead Online. Game developers never strive to improve. Just pump out the same shit a hundred times. It's fine as long as people keep spending money on it. I don't know, man. Seriously, it really pisses me off. It's hilarious that there's people who are saying there's no input delay. You're just wrong. You're just wrong. You're there's just no wrong. Saying there's no input delay when there's an insanely huge group of people on the internet saying yes, it exists. You're the the problem because you refuse to accept that it exists. Basically, if you're playing this game and you're oh, she's no input also delay. talking you're about like, himself right now. Maniac, you probably play the shit out of these games. Replace FromSoft with DSP. To know that you can just in fighting game stuff, in Dark Souls stuff, replace it with uh, bank leaks and uh, scammering. And playing, and getting good, you can't. But I'm a variety streamer, dude. I'm playing Horizon. I've played other games. Like I said, I literally just directly have referenced Neo, a game where this doesn't exist. I've played games like Dark Souls, like Elden Ring, that doesn't have the input delay, and I don't have the problems I have playing this game. That's not on me. That's on the fucking game. There's no defending it. You can't deny facts. You might as well make, make shit up about fucking vaccines, saying that they grow third arms on your back and shit too. It's the same level of dunsedness. Stop doing it. Dunsedness. Right? When you literally blindly... Is this an actual it, word? When everyone else around you is saying, dude, there's something wrong. No, nah, I don't see it. You're the problem. You're holding back progress. Seriously. Bro, DSP, that is you. Against these games oh, that, that was a nasty voice crack. I'm sorry. Actually improve them. And again, I'm not saying the game is bad. I'm not. I actually feel the game is quite good. It's probably what? Be the best from software game ever made. We'll see. I got a lot further to go, but I definitely am tired of this fucking bullshit of people giving from software a pass just because. <laughs> love this ultra hard. Oh uh, what? You know what? Here's the truth. If they would actually make the controls responsive, okay, then they could make bosses that were more challenging. If you ever noticed, bro, I can't even oh, handle this. I have an actual ridiculously fast boss in From Software game. Usually, you have a boss that, that has one fast attack or just one combo. Once you dodge it, now it's back to standing around doing nothing for half a second. You know what I mean? There's never a boss that's like fast, always constantly moving, always constantly attacking. Why? Because you couldn't keep up with it because the game's too fucking delayed. So, they purposely make a giant dragon that basically has an attack with a giant area of effect. And if it hits you, it kills you at one hit. But then you can dodge it. You see? We don't have fast shit in this game because you can't react to it anyway. They know that. Take a look at the bosses. Murgit is not super fast. Murgit does not have incredibly unpredictable, non-stoppable attack patterns. But Murgit is, you know, is almost impossible to dodge on reaction. Therefore, people can't beat him. You know? All right. Get the, this gets a pause because we get to talk about this a little bit. Because there was a very nice association that he made uh, between Dark Souls and From Software and their fans, right? Because there are massive groups of people online that are telling to the fans of From Software games, dudes, it's fucking laggy, it's delayed. And there are so much fans that they just keep giving them money. And there's this guy, Phil, who has a lot of fans. And there's a lot of people on the internet that tell him, dude, this guy is a scammer, don't give him money. It's his fucking, he's lying to you. And you keep giving him money, okay? That was the summary, basically, of, of this segment. This is all that happened. All that. That's hilarious, because Shin L says they stand around so we have time to heal. A lot yeah, of big ups, uh, Aldecor for the super chat, who says, uh, we eat out once a week. Yeah, right, Mr. Fucking DoorDash. Cause they need yeah. He, he needed to really yeah. reinforce the fact that they're broke in that segment. Things? We don't have any money, man. We just eat out once a week. Is the summoning. I'm uh, big up uh, sinful Aaron for a super chat. Phil, try to be a man in PvP. Get good. People that play Dark Souls games, PvP. He's never gonna PvP. They're all trolls. Like, hey, we put it in there for a reason. All right, let's go live. Games that were tough, right? I guess you know, God forbid that they ever put a cheat code into a video game in modern days, you'd probably be lynched. 
with the fucking I, I seriously the mentality of the internet is like you can't fucking do anything to these these fanboyish communities god forbid you criticize this game you say it could improve or you use a gameplay element that might make it slightly less difficult it's like you ruined the fucking game you're like what are you talking about you ruined no one ruined anything if you want to play the game and not use the summons fine but stop gatekeeping a single player fucking game how much of a loser can you be to gatekeep a game you didn't make you have no fucking stake in Throw the fuck up and and realize the size of your e penis doesn't matter to anyone. <laughs> what? You. You're the one who stares at your giant assy code e penis all day because you beat the bosses without. Why are you up. so toxic? You can do it and still like the fucking game. And if you don't like but, it, uh, suck ass. Grow the fuck up. No one cares about your stupid fucking opinion. Okay. Really? It okay. It has to finally be said. No one cares about fanboy opinion. Okay. Besides fanboys and their little inclusive, ridiculous stupid communities right no one cares about you go play the game the way do the fanboys buy games the world alone <laughs> do they play games what their their enjoyment of the of the franchise is invalid because they used the gameplay element that was introduced in this game <laughs> out of their minds right they're seriously out of their minds this was so, a a massive me, old I mean, man yells at cloud segment from an outside perspective I love these games, but at the same time, I'm seeing other people who've never played them before this weekend playing them and looking at them and basically saying, man, it would be nice if this were there. You, oh, you I just went on Twitter, know. though. How you just went on Twitter. You and going erupting I've seen other people. On the internet, just showing how dumb they fucking are. <laughs> Why are you acting like you talk to people? Wow. <laughs> don't, don't fake it. That's that Cap. incredibly stupid, right? It is. It's incredibly stupid to say these dumb things, right? For me, here's, here's my mentality. All right. When I fight a boss the first time in any Dark Souls game, in any From Software game, my first run is just that. It's to see the boss, to see its attacks, to try to figure out what you can do against it. It's not even like I'm going to beat the boss this run. I don't even think of it that way. I'm like, I'm going to go see this boss. It's kind of an exploratory journey the first one or two times that I see it. Then after I've seen it a couple of times, now I'm like, all right, now maybe I'll actually try hard to try to beat this thing. Um, <clears throat> And then... After a few honest tries, trying to figure it out, maybe now I'll try to use some other gameplay elements. I'll mix it up, change a different weapon. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's me. I'm in no rush to... I'm not, I don't have to one-shot every boss. I don't care. If I one-shot a boss, great. Obviously, it's cool when you do, but it's not like a requirement, and it's not something I'm looking to do. I, I go oh, no. The sex bots are attacking. To me to see what <laughs> baller alert. Boss, rather than, oh, Everybody on high alert. Baller alert. Calling out baller alert. alert. Got no problems with baller right? alert. I don't care about that shit. I really don't. Um, so take a look at me, you know, trying to fight. They're trying boss. to make me bust, you know, dude. I, the first couple runs, I'm not going to be summoning the, the ashes. That's only if I'm in a situation. Uh, big ups, Barrett Wells for the five dollar super chat. Uh, Phil will gloat, he's the greatest gamer ever. Uh, when he beats a boss, as soon as the game beats him, it's the developers not making the game accessible. It's pretty disheartening. We're seven games uh, in. He does want to make it a big deal and compare himself to other people. And I feel but like you can't bad. compare him to other people when he's bad. And, and, stop and say everybody else is better than you, Phil. Okay, your games are great. But they're being ball suckers, I guess. Why do we have to get a... Okay, input delay on PS3. I don't know. Maybe it was warranted. Whatever this was. Console generation with HD... You got a new format, a, a wireless controllers for the first time that were standard. Okay, give me. I understand there's input delay. We're fucking seven games in, dude. At this point, you can make it better because I played better in Neo. All right. Okay. Now, <laughs> all that being said, <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> my God, I erupted in rage. Michael Jackson this segment. This Godric boss fight, and it wasn't for the reasons you may be thinking. It wasn't because I thought he was unfair. It wasn't that I thought that. The Talk about the burger. Was... Come on. You wanna? Or that I wasn't gonna be able to beat it because. Like, I mean, in a way that uh, that Dark Souls rant was uh, kind of that, kind of talking about Burger King. This boss fight feels to me like they didn't even try. I mean it. Like the animations are outstanding, but then when you actually start to analyze and break down this boss fight, you realize that like there's things to it that make no sense. Okay, so there's a part of the fight where he grafts a dragon's head to his hand, and now he has fire attacks. Okay. So every other fire boss in Dark Souls ever, or from software ever, when they're going to use the fire, 
you run up to the boss to get past what's shooting the fire. To the boss. Get it, right? Run to the boss. That's the, that's the strategy. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> this guy, man. Hell, there was already a He'll never stop. The ring, the He's never turn. gonna quit. Same thing. He breathes fire. You run up past his head. You turn. You beat the fuck out of his head for extra damage. That's what you're supposed to do. In this game, the boss is spewing fire. I run past the fire. I hit the boss. I light on fire. There's no fire. It's over. It's behind me. What are you talking about? It's called bad hitboxes. It has to be legitimately criticized. You should be lighting on fire when the fire's behind you and you're wailing on the boss in front of you who's wide open. It's called bad game program. <laughs> well, Green Lobster just left the Froggery stream to join this. Dude, the you're never going to guess it. We're watching the same thing. Was one of the most ridiculous things I think I've ever seen. Not even just in a Froggery. This is crazy. Baller general. alert. Calling right. out baller Ladies alert. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to teach you about projectile weapons today. <laughs> what? I actually need to address this. We're having a so class with Phil. Life. Attendance is great. If you have a projectile weapon... <laughs> projectile weapon class. As it Actual lecture. Hold on. Let me grab something. What? So, Yo. Baller alert. Calling out baller alert. Got no problems with baller alert. With everybody on baller alert and anybody else out there talking shit about me, here we go. I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the Wait, comments. No, I, I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I actually have a knife. <laughs> we have a right? a knife. This is a projectile. If you actually no 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 right no. I have to explain this. What is this knife? How does a knife work? What is this? This is like a Counter Strike knife. It's a CS:GO knife. Did you get this in a loot box? You see. Now, just to show you an example, if you're going forward, it will pierce things. If it goes Save backwards, oh, no. do, anything, I'm do it the, the other way. The butt of the knife. But in general, Feel. the way projectile works is that you throw the projectile, okay, <laughs> and it becomes an offensive It's weapon. a tactical it knife. Forward because of its momentum moving forward. Save. All right? If I were to hold this knife and throw the knife like this, it would move forward and be dangerous in this direction. I mean, this is common sense. Now, That's there's retarded. many different kinds of projectiles. There's guns, there's rocks. <laughs> this is terrible. Throw a projectile. But once, in general, you <laughs> bust out a knife in a certain direction. That is the direction in which the projectile is what? Directed. Okay? When I'm going to throw this knife forward, people behind me don't have to worry because the projectile is moving <laughs> forward. Okay? Now, I can't Oh, this is such, such a moment. On my stream. I can't believe I just had to do that. But apparently I have to do it because some people don't understand the premise behind projectiles. Okay. The projectile segment. <laughs> this general premise. I, I remember he projected something once. It was a massive projectile. And the camera was on. Perceptions that I'm not remembering. And if it is, it's likely way back in the day. That was a master class. That wasn't just a lecture. Bullshit and all kinds of stuff. Okay. He passed. But in this case, okay. In general, we understand how projectiles work. We're not stupid, right? Okay. The worst thing is we, we're still talking about Elden Ring. An ability where he lifts his hands up, he swings around this weapon. I don't even know what it is, a hammer, an axe. I don't fucking care. And he circles himself with this, this tornado. The tornado now can hit you, so you got to back away. Then he aims at something, like Thor and his mighty hammer. He aims at something. And he literally extends his arm forward with this weapon in his hand, and then the projectile comes out, and it's a big tornado that comes out at you. And if you're standing in front of him at the time, he'll throw multiple, and actually they will they will try to follow you a little bit. So what you have to do is kind of roll around, use your iframes to dodge the tornadoes. It's actually a good-looking attack. I like it. Okay? <clears throat> now... If you're playing this game in co-op, or if you're playing... Big ups, you guys. I'm going to give you a shout-out in a, in a minute. Okay. I, actually, no. He's talking about Elden Ring. Fuck him. Uh, big ups to uh, Soul217 for a $10 super chat. He's only harping this because Dr. Disrespect went back after uh, the, the rage quit. Went back to Elden Ring after DSP jumped on the Twitter post and said he was quitting. Uh, he did kind of seem to to be lame about that. I don't know why he went out of his way to do that. Like this. But he's still throwing the projectile. Wait, wait. That's fucking you can't defend dumb it. as fuck. You can't deny it. It's on video. 
It happened live. It's been uh, over the last couple of days. All right. Now, Big ups, uh, Black Maid Triple Six for a super chat. It's called being a bad player. Like this. Okay. And big ups again for a super Ooh, chat. People don't understand how projectiles what? work. You can <laughs> Pulls out knife. In the air at some point. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Oh, yo. Or I thought like he that. was going to try and okay. stab himself that or something. That would have made sense. No. Literally, his hand goes, huh, and it goes backwards like this immediately. And people are trying to defend it, and I'm like, you you don't understand how Bro, stupid. Bro, nobody cares. When you defend something that's broken. Oh, well, it's wind. Wind doesn't blow backwards, you fucking idiot. It blows forwards, just like everything else. <laughs> what? Oh, what about direction? Well, guess what? Even wind doesn't blow backwards. <laughs> still follows the general rules of physics. <laughs> yes, of course, you can argue and, and, and basically say, well, it's magic to anything in any game ever, and therefore every game developer ever will get a pass. If that's really what you're aiming for, you might as well move in with Miyazaki and just be his manservant for the rest of your life. Manservant? Like, literally serve this guy grapes and fucking... Suck his know, balls? Wash, wash his body with oh, a sponge. <laughs> Washing his body? Sponge bath. Is he Spine hot? Body, you know? Because, I mean... Does he have abs? Perfect, and you can defend it and say it's magic. Come on. What we need more to the fantasy. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> what you're saying literally has no factual logic to it. And I think that's the problem, is that a lot of people, when they like something, immediately they defy all... It, oh, there's no logic to that. Well, there should be. This is a game where you're supposed to be reacting to things you're seeing on the screen, you're supposed to be learning patterns, and you're supposed to be able to fight the hordes of evil. If there's no logic to anything, if at any moment, my R1 button stops working, and now... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. Boss instead. He's like... When there's no logic to the fight. He's freaking out about this one time he died, when the game glitched. Maybe it fucking glitched. Who knows? Games are glitchy. It's just software. Come on. Because magic. But and now he's giving us a class in projectiles and calling people ball suckers and manservants and gonna shower Miyazaki. Like actually physically shower him and, and wash his back. Except this one moment, then I don't want to play your game. Your game sucks. You're supposed to be. And I know it was a joke. It was just a bad one. You have criteria you can abide by and you can adapt and learn and persevere. Not oh, we changed the entire world's physics law for this one fight. Where he can fart out a fucking cloud of wind in your face, <laughs> even though he's obviously throwing. It was just forward, this one time. The rules of everything. Right? He died a hundred and forty-four no, times, no, I think, no, in no, in no, total no, so far. Want to kiss ass? Fuck it. That's all it is. It's it's blatant. People want to kiss ass. And quite in, quite frankly, pretty embarrassing levels of ass kissing. If you're gonna justify what happened in my gameplay on on Sunday night, the backwards projectile, you really gotta reassess where you are in life. If you actually think that like defending that kind of shit is beneficial to anyone including yourself you really got to look in the mirror and be like what the fuck am i doing dude like or i gotta i gotta go see some sun i gotta fucking do something else because if you're gonna actually tell me that a game can just literally get away with anything because it's I magic well then i can say well guess what your opinion is bullshit and dumb and completely illogically stupid and i don't have to listen to it This guy is, wow. Uh, this was a great segment, actually. Actually, for, for the gold dust, it was great. Big ups, bro, with glasses for a super chat. Uh, says best rant all year. There are some yeah, and it's still February. There's still so much more to go. It's actually March. Yeah, congratulations. Happy March. Because so many people over the years just say, give them the pass. Give them, you know, give, keep giving them the business. Fine, but understand that the more that you reward a game that feels unpolished, right? The more unpolished the games will be. I've never seen something like that happen in a From Software game before. And I've seen some bullshit. I have never seen anything like that. And I can't imagine, I mean, you know, five, ten years ago, and seeing that in any game, someone would have said, well, that's a broken game. That's a buggy piece of shit. Don't play it. But now it's, oh, no, it's fine. What are you talking about? It's fine. No, it's not fine. It's time for you to stop it. Really, it's time to grow up and stop with this nonsense. Stop saying the input delay is fine. Stop saying the wonkiness is fine. Stop saying that the unpolished... Yeah, Kiwi Farmer, this is the DSP loss of mental health arc. It's decaying. It's decaying. But he thinks it's getting better, which which is so, funny. It's just ridiculous. Somehow. Stop it. Really, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, it is. Because that's all it is. It's illogical nonsense of 
a feeling that like when you play these games for some reason you're part of a community or you're part of an overwhelming experience you're not in any community not even yourself yeah, your own i spent <laughs> you, you know what i have a community it's all about you the other day about one of the optional creatures that i saw oh. in the basement of stormville castle i i thought i could talk to one of his mods about uh, uh only ice coffee his head had been severed and his head turned into the root of one of the great trees growing in the land and maybe just maybe because king goken wanted to talk to him in chat like gods that have i think yesterday not yesterday the day before these really are dead gods um and i thought that the monster that i had fought was this body of the god that had no head and the body lived on because it was the body of a god so it had power in it so that's why it's like the guardian ape okay the game did not right say that the get the body had no boss kept living no boss and then dsp pretended to be surprised when he played the guardian ape figure out the lore of the game for yourself oh uh, well it, it's alive what i like the game enough that i'm actually gonna see oh it. no and i'm actually going to talk about it and, and speculate about it because i like it but i'm gonna like the things that are that should be likable i'm not going to then say oh i forgive the ridiculous brokenness of the game. Big ghost, well. Michael. Stupidity. Really? It's just stupidity. Well, he can't not talk about spoilers because all this podcast is not, is hyping up not, him not, playing the game not, not, after the podcast. If I see bullshit, so he can't even. <laughs> he's just recapping his gameplay and ranting. First time ever. From software are not above criticism. People are now saying, wow. This game really could be improved. Why is it that it has this input delay every game? I don't understand. I've never played one before. Well, now you know. We've put up with it for seven games. They're great games, but man, could they have been improved over the years? This is just it's one massive Reddit post oh. that, that gets ignored. <laughs> it's time now. It's time now. Really. No, really. It's time. You, can, you can actually put some effort into the combat engine a little bit more responsive and better. Because the thing is, I really feel the game would be better if it was. Like, I actually feel no real over the years and they never bothered because people just kept sucking the ball they need to stop licking scrotum <laughs> well now you know we've put up with it for seven games they're great games but man could they have been improved over the years and they never bothered because people just kept sucking the ball they need to stop licking scrotum <laughs> what? Okay, please, please, please. why would you even say this who says this licking <laughs> scrotum why would you say this <laughs> you fucking terrible you're back. You're still on mission one. Oh my god, this this fucking killed me. This killed me for real. Oh my god. Stop licking scrotum. And he said it so casually. It's like he says it every day. It's like a casual insult that I've never heard before. <laughs> Stop licking scrotum. When I see bullshit. And he he gets in like really sophisticated terms of sucking somebody's dick because he needs to be very specific with it. Because this is how much of a fanboy you are. You're not sucking the dick. You're not slurping the pickle or whatever the fuck else it's called. You are licking the scrotum. This is how much. It's a scale. Miles, fuck off. No, I, I, and we go back to fucking off. I'm going to accept that. That was some horse fucking doo doo. What is this, Twitch? No. And he went to put back the knife in the secret place he puts it. It's probably a safe. Horse dude. He has a knife safe. <laughs> All right, I have one final segment to talk about, and then we got shout outs. The segment is about Capcom. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, I have not had much to say good about Capcom's fighting game division for a very long time. Although I would admit that I actually think Capcom's been doing really good in, for example, the Resident Evil side of things. In recent years, games like Resident Evil 7 and 8 and the remakes of, of 2 and 3, 3 not so much, but 2, uh, have been quite good. And I think that they've rejuvenated this, the franchise, and they're doing a really good job. I think this podcast's been like an hour long everything up, every already. Since Street Fighter Five, it's just been worse and worse. And sadly, I hate to see it, but I think that the community has really struggled to keep the competitive and and, and the the positivity in the fighting game community. We got around. like half an hour to go. The game is not very good, and Capcom just has made bad decision after bad decision. The way that they nickel and dimed the customers over the course of Street Fighter Five has been terrible. Um, but now I think they finally. Finally broke the camel's back with what they announced. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Kiwi Farmer. Sorry, I got too carried away by laughing. Uh, big ups for the super chat. Uh, his chat doesn't even agree. He's losing it. His chat has been calling him out all day. Tournament organizers. Check out the new community what is this? license agreement for running at, uh, events with Street Fighter Five. Oh, no, we got a flashback. In one easy to Strap in. 
Clock in for the flashback. <laughs> the link, it's a special overtime shift. He's gonna talk That's about cool. back in the day. Like, I'm not kidding. 20 pages of restrictions, limitations, and legal mumbo jumbo. What does it mean? It essentially means the following. If you want to run a tournament in Street Fighter V Champion Edition moving forward, you have to abide by all of Capcom's requirements, legally and otherwise. You're supposed to apply for a license and get one to run a tournament. If you don't get said license, they have the right to basically issue you a cease and desist order and legally tell you to stop running your tournament they can take down your stream. They could take your videos off the internet. They can even try to sue you and seize any funds you made in that tournament as it regards to having Street Fighter V as a part of it. Okay? Wow. Interesting. Uh, okay. Well, first of all, what are these new requirements that are being made? Well, <laughs> it's like he forgot many. what, what his opinion was. All, I'm just okay. Some of the ones well, first of all... That kind of made my jaw drop. Um, first of all... Your the graphics are great. ...prize pool of $2,000 or less. You cannot have a prize pool above $2,000. If your prize pool is $2,000 or less, you must then fully disclose up front how much... The, qualifi the qualifiers of your tournament, like people who get first, second, third place, are going to make up front before the tournament even starts. Now, just to give you guys an idea, for a lot of tournament organizers, that's impossible because you don't know how many people are going to show up to your event. Yes, you can get an estimate for pre-qualifications if you require like online registration, but you're never exactly sure how many people are actually going to show up, nor are you 100% sure how much money you're going to make during that event to put towards the prize pool. I mean, it would be in an ideal world You'd run a tournament where everyone registers online, everyone pays ahead of time, everyone shows up, everyone plays their matches, and everyone's happy. That never happens. I can tell you from a tournament organizer's perspective, there's always monkey wrenches thrown into plans. You got to make adjustments. And usually you might think a, uh, something's going to go one way and it goes the other way. So by He's a specialist in this. He did it for a living. Fully disclose everything up front means you essentially need to have all the money ready to go and then be ready to take a loss if something goes wrong. Okay, maybe that works for someone who's running a business like my business is Street Fighter. I run Street Fighter tournaments. I own a business. and This is what we do. But for most people, it's a grassroots organization. It's, oh, I'm just running a tournament at a local bar, at a local arcade, at a local land center, at my mom's garage. When was this? 15 years ago? Do they still do that? They probably do. want to keep the community efforts for the competition rolling. Um... <laughs> Big ups Black Bitch with Super Chat. Uh, did he think there were no rules on this before? Probably there were. They just made some new shit, but I don't really know. I'm not really into this. But Big ups. For a tournament, Capcom legally owns. Listen to this. He just saw something that was on Twitter. Footage of the tournament. Oh no, you can't cheese. You run a tournament with views. Capcom owns your tournament. I mean, yeah, this is lame. They own it. This is lame. Those videos on demand. They own it. Yeah, this sucks. So you literally can't make any money on tournament competition ever again because Capcom owns your footage. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, what else? I mean, I could keep going on and on because there's a bunch of, of things in this, this arrangement, this agreement that are just mind-numbingly, baffingly, jaw-droppingly, wow, anti-gamer, anti-organizer, anti-player. And you might say, well, why is Capcom doing this? Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, there's a few re I think there's a few reasons. First of all, what I've heard, and keep in mind, this is all hearsay. I don't watch Street Fighter tournaments. I don't participate in them. Okay. He saw something on Twitter. What's what I've heard. Is that it's like people are telling him stuff. A lot of <laughs> it's like anyone is talking to him. It just doesn't go mainstream because people don't want to have it go mainstream and have the whole community look bad. But I can tell you from personal experience from back in the day, I would go to a tournament. They would say, okay, entry, entry is this amount. This amount from the entry is going to the prize pool. And therefore, if you get this amount of players, this is roughly what you'll wake. The whole tournament will go on. People would win. Okay, here's your prize money. There were like 
500 people in the stream. Oh yeah, he does talk like that uh, about the uh, restreamers too. Thousands of dollars. He owns this content. He owns this stream right now. Oh, well. Too he bad. owns this. And then you go out to the website after the tournament, and they deleted the rules page. <laughs> but uh, my secret is that I actually work for Burnell Productions. Um, I'm his marketing at, department. At, 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 at certain uh, events, I think what's happened is Capcom yeah. wants their Talk game life. to feel professional. So they want to have an air of professionalism no matter who is running a tournament in it, whether it's the smallest rinky-dink, holding it in a garage kind of tournament feel, or a super high-end, I rented out a ginormous arena, and now there's a thousand people attending kind of a deal. They want it all to feel professional level, but that's just not possible, okay? It's not. It's, it's not like DSP's stream. He has a layout for his podcast, and he called it a podcast, so it's a podcast. Right, they can pay and qualify for the license. Super professional, he does it for a living. He's been doing it for a thousand years. To make it the level of quality that Capcom wants, this will not be an issue. And in fact, getting that big Capcom seal of quality, saying, boom, we were approved by the Capcom tournament commission or whatever, may actually attract more people to your venue because you say, wow, now you're guaranteed to get a certain amount of money when you participate in that tournament and yada, yada, yada. Okay? But essentially what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of people who used to support Street Fighter who are now going to say, fuck it, I quit. People who were the only reason why people maybe in a, in a community would have played the game competitively. Um, the whole grassroots movement of Street Fighter, unless you're basically running Street Fighter tournaments as a business, you will no longer be able to do it. Now, you may say, well, we don't know what's going to happen. Is Capcom really going to enforce these rules? We don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will only enforce it for larger scale tournaments. And they won't care about smaller scale tournaments. All right, I'm de I'm gonna derail this for a second if you were because I just came to a massive realization. Now somebody in chat pointed out that he has a, a figure of Blanca in the background, and I don't know why, but in my entire life I don't know anything about Street Fighter. I don't know why I think that Blanca is a hot chick, some some blonde girl or something, and it turns out that it's a thing that looks like Hulk. Wow. Capcom crazy. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go back to the the riveting content. It's crazy. That this this is a total shift in attitude. The only other company who's really had issue. Oh my god, we're not even on the shout outs yet. This is still the the podcast part. Then it's going to be shout outs, it's going to be tips. And that's why it's going to be members begging. Oh my god. That Nintendo opted out this year. They don't even want their game at Evo. So maybe they're going to do their own thing or maybe they just don't give a fuck. They don't care about tournaments anymore. They told Evo, no, you can't run a tournament with our game anymore. Okay? So this, all that being said, it's kind of like, wow. Now let's think about this. Here's here's what really gets me about this story. Back in the Yes, day, Rusty, you're right. I did ago, think of uh, of Cammy. Cammy is who I was thinking of. All the as the attractive the female done. lady from <clears throat> Street Fighter. Okay? Capcom was not putting out new fighting games. They had like one or two. They were huge flops because they were terrible, like low effort attempts to make a fighting game. Capcom all but retired their fighting game community and started focusing on things like Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, and many other franchises. Okay. During that time frame, it was actually grassroots tournament organizers. Okay, who kept the com competitive? <laughs> yeah, the the box for the neck phones is also very embarrassing. Out in Philadelphia, it it and, it, it sucks. Uh, <laughs> like like Tevin calls it the toilet seat. <laughs> it's a fucking toilet seat. In Atlanta, I can't remember the tournament series there, but the guy who runs it is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. A uh, really stand up guy, and uh, personally, the two times I met him, I was like, wow, he's like one of the. Can most you most say his name? Ever. And he really, you could tell, he had passion for Street Fighter. And that's why... Oh, final round! The final round tournament series. Awesome. Out outstanding people, outstanding guy who runs final round. Um, The Texas gaming community. Some of the... Again, some of the nicest players I've ever met. Jason Wilson, who single-handedly was trying to keep Street Fighter alive in the Midwest, and then he handed it off to Keats and other people out there. These are people who literally kept Street Fighter alive out of the love of the game. They oh, you guys know that <laughs> between the toilet seat, there's usually an ass. So, yeah. Street Fighter it fits perfectly. It's <laughs> the toilet seat. Super Turbo. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Capcom oh, my Street God. Street Fighter, Capcom 2. Those four games, which never were updated, never were patched, never got DLC content. The same stagnant games 
ran for eight plus years in tournament communities because of people's passion for Street Fighter. Okay? Essentially, what would happen right now if Capcom back then had been like today, every one of those tournaments would have shut down and would have single-handedly ended to compete at a Street Fighter as we know it. It would have just been, boop, gone. Okay? So you might be saying, let me get this straight. Capcom today, out of nowhere, at the end of the life of Street Fighter V, has oh my god, and now we get a summary. Anyone who wants to run a tournament. We get a summary of the whole thing. Doing this now. Stop <clears throat> it. Stop repeating yourself. Well, I would say there's two reasons. Number one, yes, I would guess there's corruption. And maybe Capcom has gotten wind of it and basically wants to end it. Um, And that's a good thing. What I actually heard is that there's a lot of these tournaments that when they're streaming, um, essentially what happens is the whole stream is a fucking paid advertisement. Like they'll run one match... And then there's 15 minutes. Oh, so it's shills. <laughs> so it's shills. That tournament organizer a ton of money. Then they get back to the action. And then it's fucking back shills. The and because of that, people complain. We're like, dude, why did it take? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they do that. To run a tournament. Maybe he's right. A thousand percent. Because you had so many ads in it. So maybe Capcom. He's just being honest. I don't know. That as well, because there were requirements in the links about stuff like that. Um, I don't know, but essentially the way I look at it is this. If this had been in place, right, previously, Street Fighter would have been dead. It was the grassroots community that kept Street Fighter alive for over eight years when Capcom refused to pump out any new Street Fighter games. And really, the only reason that now Capcom has been able to keep Street Fighter alive is because of things like online sponsorships, product placements, you know what I'm saying? Joy this, this gaming group, that gaming group, and... They're quite frankly, they're lucky because if it wasn't for the streaming era right now, I don't think that it would be anywhere near what it is, especially with the fact that there's huge, large scale competitive esports communities out there that eclipse Street Fighter 40, 50 times over. They're just way bigger and more prominent. And the fact that Street Fighter even has a place in the esports landscape, they should be grateful. They should be happy that it's grassroots organizers that keep the game alive because it's not a good game. Street Fighter 5 sucks. And these people love and have such a passion for Street Fighter that they will still sacrifice in order to keep Street Fighter alive in their own universe. But this is still... And now basically... What now is this the fanboys? Is no more grassroots. Or keep doing grassroots. But we're gonna... We have, at any time, we can shut you down and sue you. Oh, this and sucks so bad. And it's so confusing. Because I don't know... For our game and not like... License. No. Um, and Come on. essentially saying a big fuck you to anyone... Who kept Street Fighter alive during the years? <laughs> and we got the the double middle middle fingers like it's I don't know like 2012 DSP or something. Our franchise alive for 10 years, but we don't. Why would you do this? You're like 40. Why are you pointing two double middle? everything. Two middle fingers. It's fucked up. It's complete disregard and for the community, and it's complete mistreatment of the community. And uh, I can't believe it, quite frankly. I can't. It's like. Ever since Street Fighter V came out, Capcom has actively done everything they possibly could do wrong and has continued to do it. <laughs> He's over an hour and 20 minutes long. This is over an hour and 20 minutes. Actually, that we've been sitting here watching this. The game came out and didn't work. Even it's an, it the, online components, the online components a feature-length film <clears throat> worth of content. content. The gameplay elements sucked. The first two years the game was out. It took them that long to even patch it and reduce the input delay and make it viable. For competitive play they ruined all the new characters they added in they took old tried and true characters and made them different versions like vegas a fucking motion character instead of a charge character they basically did everything possible they could do wrong they promised you get all the characters for free blatant lie you had to pay to get them over time it was just everything was a lot everything was terrible okay and just the funny that's what i mean like the funny part about the whole thing is the only reason the community exists is because grassroots players kept it alive when capcom was doing nothing and now they're like, well, even though we just kind of fucked everyone for six straight years of Street Fighter V, continue the pattern, you know? And I said it before and I'll say it again. Um, when you reward bad behaviors, bad behaviors continue. Yeah, that's now, fucking ironic. Literally showed with the launch of that is ironic, DSP, coming from you. Everything, that they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't care about the community. They didn't care about the quality of the game. All they cared about was getting a revenue stream out of it. And for over five years, people bought into it anyway. 
And now look what they're doing. It's like, okay, well, Street Fighter V is done. Here comes Street Fighter VI. But let's immediately shut down everything and fuck everything up. You know, like... This is what happens. This is what happens when you support these people. You know? <laughs> Why is he looking at chat? Happened, essentially. Street Fighter V... Chat is just Street waiting. Street should have been a flop. A failure. Everyone should have seen how bad it was at launch and said, no. Back to the drawing board. Go back and put actual effort into a fucking Street Fighter game. We don't even care if it takes 10 years... For you to put out the next Street Fighter, go back and make another Street Fighter 4. Make another good game. Street Fighter 5 ain't it. You fucked up. You put minimal effort into it. Now go back and try again. Instead, people toss the money for six years, and now they think they can get away with anything. And this keeps happening. Over and over and over. And <laughs> Chad is so bored. They throw money at jump. They're so bored. They Somebody said, DSP, you're a gamer. Bad behavior. Which is a good reminder yeah, I wonder of why actually we're watching this. That's anti-gamer. What did you expect? You yeah, the super chat is not uh, It's not banned. Somebody sent him 20 and said, uh, here's 20, here's the question. Would you consider playing through Sly 2 again? Which is uh, just a, a game consideration request, which gets denied. Sly 2. Maybe if you if you vote for it or the or the viewers choice event when we hit the members Which reminds me we dropped a thousand members I'll mess around with this new collection coming out in June and play some retro We're still talking about have no desire This Try to participate in something competitive again when when the company sucks, you know They just don't have any clue what the what anyone wants and they just keep doing bad things so All right Ladies and gentlemen, shout out. We start off Yay. with the things. Super chill. B baller alert. Jack G did a super chat and says, Do you like Huey Lewis and the News? And the Huey Lewis uh, Huey Lewis and the News. Why can't I say that? <laughs> she turned into me. Um <clears throat> the only thing I know of Huey Lewis and the News is from the uh, soundtrack of Back to the Future One, and I like the songs in that. Power Alert. Alright. Do you like Ghostbusters? Harold Ramis. Thank you, Sergio. Bill Murray. Uh, uh let's see here. Kevin Bernstein. Okay. The super Jets and boomerangs go back to you with their projectiles. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Did a whopping twenty dollars super chat and said, "Here's a question: Will you ever consider playing through Slide Two again?" Yes. Yes, I would consider. It. There's no reason not to. It's a great game. In fact, in the Slide trilogy, I thought that was the best game out of all three. Um, all right. There would obviously need to probably be a reason for me to do it or demand for it. Right now, I don't think there is. But absolutely, I would consider going back and playing it. It's an outstanding game. In fact, that was one of the ones I platinum. One of the few games I platinum back in the day. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> wow. You're excused. It's okay. You're Phil. It's okay when right. Phil does it. Continuing on. CM Fool to me, $4.20 says, DSP, do you see the new Pokemon game Scarlet and Violet, which starter is your favorite? I didn't see the starters. I saw zero coverage of it. I just know it exists. I think it's silly. I already said my piece about this the other day. They just released Legends Arceus, which a lot of people are just kind of finishing now. And now they got a Legends Arceus. It sounds absolutely ridiculous. They're doing it that fast. I don't know what they're thinking, but hopefully it's good. It's a new outing. Uh, it'll probably still look like shit. <laughs> okay. Um, David. Okay, let's move on. Come on. Okay. Wait, we thank you for your support. Well, David, I don't know who you are. <laughs> I really don't. He represents people. I think the silent majority. You're the one who tipped me. <laughs> why you said it like that. But I appreciate the tip. Thank you. Oh, it's the Scientology guy. David Miscavige. That we have qualified. He's in real life the head of Scientology. And his wife mysteriously went missing. Somehow. Cool. Next tip is from but keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. 100% agreed on input delay, especially when I played... But DSP wouldn't know who that guy is and what we meant. Responsive and fluid. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. It's hard to adjust to this, where in addition to skill, now I have to count a half second or two early to dodge. You're right. In C has to put the stupid glasses on. The boss is incredibly challenging. But you have to parry everything. Yeah, there we go. You can't actually legitimately hit him until you parry almost everything. And it's all instant reaction. You have to time it right. In this game, you have to time it early. And it's very jarring. It really is. I completely agree with Anso Kamaru here. Uh, Alice Telemon to me $1.50. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he says, here it comes. Gonna cheap up. <laughs> yeah, Dick Lightning. Dick the Dick fuck Lightning. was this? Reference this is just like an open mouth th throat clear. Ah, ah. 
and he says here it, it they're getting so, somehow when you think they can't get any more obnoxious they just get more obnoxious it's very jarring it really is and right. it's just like he was picking his ear right before that. Uh, Alice Telemon to be a dollar fifty. Excuse me. <laughs> and he says, and the the thing is that to a random person, this is just some guy reading out money donations and just clearing his throat and just going all over the place and snorting and burping. Oh yeah, Dick Lightning. And burping the uh, hitting the burp out of his chest. All right. Okay, we're at 57% positivity right now, $57, and the podcast is over. A lot of topics to talk about, you can see we're back to business here, we're not. Yeah, it's like an actual lecture, because he manages, when he gets to like an hour 25, he manages to just sneak in five minutes, and, and then it's done. It's like exactly on on the clock. That's for a lot of people. Perhaps yeah, 129 is when the intro rolled. 129, so a, a feature-length movie. Right. That's great. I I like it. Okay. Game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Game time. It is time to end the free stream podcast. Thanks for being a great audience. Please do. And let's get started. Sound good? I hope so. Thank you in advance for your support. Already almost. Thank you in advance for your support. Let's get started. Yeah, I have more likes than you, Phil. Swag, flex, flex, baller alert. Ba ba baller alert, calling out ba And you're gonna play my song on your podcast. So I owned you doubly. Cuck light. Cuck light, cuck light, cuck light. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. It's my day off. It's my day fucking off. <laughs> I'm, I'm lurking. This was great. We talked about so much on this podcast. I mean, we, it, because it was a discussion. He likes to, to to call it a discussion in an interaction and whatever. He wants to call it all this bullshit. Yeah, he still uses that outro. He still uses all the troll shit. That is, like, obviously fucking with him. But it's making this stream better. I'm not even kidding you, we're supposed to have pouring rain today. I'm sure you're gonna love it. When you see the great intro and then four hours of literal garbage. Every fucking day, the weather says it's gonna be cloudy. And, and now, oh, weather crazy. alert. I can have the window open, I can have the blinds open, everything. There's fucking sun outside. The birds are tweeting. And he's gone. He went to turn off the light. <laughs> It's gonna be glaring on his screen. It's not gonna see the boss. I think he's gonna have to make up extra excuses. The birds are sending mean tweets. Okay. Okay. When you get the nice beef from the from the toilet seat, puts it around his chest. It's like a crown. Yeah, I was thinking about a couple things. The way he puts it around his chest. It's like a ceremony. Maybe I can pull off a few things, maybe not. I don't know if my stats are high enough. Oh, uh, this game can't start fast enough. I'm so bored. There's two areas of the castle to kind of check out. Maybe I should. I don't know. There's definitely the area where I can go up to the eagle section where I didn't go and see what's up there. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we're in the game. PS5 loads right, very fast. Gentlemen. Welcome back. That, that wasn't a lot of <laughs> waiting. After my uh, abrupt ending of the stream last time around, in a fit of rage, I have, you know, reassessed myself, reevaluated the situation. All right, and I've come to the conclusion that Godric's ability to throw the wind projectile backwards into my face. <laughs> okay, I think we After might be done with this. Still complete fucking bullshit, and they need to fix it. I was so. Oh my angry god! Come on. Still angry about it. That is one of the dumbest things I've uh, ever seen. This is for the YouTube audience. This clown mode. Well, we're back now. This clown mode. I was thinking about a few things. Some people have been telling me about Ashes of War, and that I should be using them. Yeah, now some I'm people are telling me I should uh, yeah. stop this stream. Standing them correctly. All right. Anyway, I have a ton of. He has a ton of them. 
right? Like, I have a ridiculous... Oh, I don't know what we can do now. I think I'm gonna wrap this up, I think. Sounds good. I think so, because I don't have anything planned, and I... Uh, I think I chilled enough. Unless I can really figure it out really fast what to do. But no, I don't think so. So let's listen to a song. And I'm going to play the soundboard over it. And that's going to be all. You know what I mean? Oh, this one. I fucking love this song. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, everybody. Big up Liquid Richard. Big ups Liquid Richard. Big ups for uh, today. For this chill and for hanging out. Don't forget to clock out. We don't want any problems in the system. Come on. Big ups Black Mage Triple Six for the super chat. I'm gonna go eat myself off a tall place now. Christ. All right. Don't forget to clock out. Okay. Sound good. Women are coming like a pool. alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women are coming like a pool. I stick my dick up in your mouth. I stick my dick up in your mouth. I'm lurking. Every little thing I do. I'm lurking. He never seems enough for you. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. I agree. I agree. I don't give a damn what they say. I just want to buzz my two nuts. I'm not the way with the balls. Baller alert, calling out baller alert. Got no problems with baller alert, but everybody on baller alert and anybody else out there talking shit about me. Here we go. I looked at myself in the mirror because I'm not liking your bagging. I love my show your thing. Your, your, your life is nothing. In this game, you know the rules. Swimming are coming like a pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puck Swimming are coming like Puck a light. pool. Puck, Puck, Puck light. I stick my dick Puck up light. in your mouth. Puck, Puck, Puck light. I stick my dick Puck up light. in your mouth. Puck, Puck, Puck light. Puck light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puck, Puck, Puck light. Puck light. In this game, you know the rules. Women are coming like a pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women are coming like a pool. I stick my dick up in your mouth. I stick my dick up in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for your money. Be about it. Don't talk about it. Shout out to Sean Wranglin. I'm lurking. Baller alert, baller alert, ba 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 baller alert, ba baller alert, calling out baller alert, got no problems with baller alert, but everybody on baller alert, and anybody else out there talking shit about me, here we go.